That's out of my life, thank God. Now to move on with the show. I have Receiver 2 today. Now, the original Receiver is pretty good. It's like a gun simulation game. You got a, a few different guns. The takeaway, though, is that it's like, uh... It was like uh, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, but made with Unity graphics way before that VR was even existed. And um, every action of the gun was mapped to a different keyboard key, and the game was actually really cool. So when I found out that a sequel was being made in Receiver 2, I shit the bed because I was thinking, like, I like Receiver 1, but they could have gone and done so much more with it. And then I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, for Receiver 2, they didn't go as far as I thought. Thought they would have, but it's still a solid sequel, and uh, we're going to be playing it today. Pretty good. Mastodon is a federated alternative to Twitter. Like mean th Oh, yeah, that's right. We can run Twitter services. Yeah, okay. See, I wouldn't mind being on a social media site that is low-key like that, you know? See, that would be fine. But anyway, I'm going to get started on uh, Receiver 2 here. It's an excellent game, by the way. Uh... I had quite a few updates since it first came out back in April, and I will uh, I will mention a few of those as they go. Now, quick word of warning. I've sort of left the volume a little bit up. This game has is weird with its volume. Um, the guns are really loud, and the rest of the game is pretty quiet. So, I've tried my best to normalize the volume. But it's going to be loud. The, every I'm going to try not to talk when the guns are going off, but um, you'll see what I mean. It's just like, is the volume fine? The volume should be fine. But then I take aim and take aim and take aim and... Okay, what, what's... Oh, see what I mean? The guns are highly, highly detailed. Like, like you could fuck with the goddamn, like, hammer and everything. It's a safety switch. The guns are beautiful in this game. By the way, the X is being like, you can't stick any more bullets in here. There we go, alright. So, as I said, I've, I've left the volume as it is. Uh, if it's still too loud, let me know. But, uh, otherwise it's gonna be a little... It's a little loud. So, sorry about that. So the goal of the game is to go around collecting tapes. Now, we are the eponymous receivers. We were thrust into this world after what is called a mind kill event. And in order to survive the mind kill, you have to uh, go around collecting tapes. All the while, you have to use your trusty firearm. Oh, an actual fucking magazine. Hello. Let me just uh, holster, put the, put the bullets in. There we go. <clears throat> Release. Yeah, I've left the volume of the guns up because it's just, it's, I want you to get in, I want you to be inversed as well as I am. That being said, I still put a limiter on. Because, <laughs> no, I'm serious. The game goes from, like, negative 10 to, like, zero. And, like, and I'm thinking, how do I stream this? If, if I put it down too low, you won't be able to hear the goddamn tapes. But, I, I, like, the way I got it set up seems like a good balance. Again, like, let me know if you have any, like, suggestions for adjusting the volume. You'll see it to me when I start playing the tapes. There is an option to reduce the gun volume, which was released in the, the recent update, but... That shit's not so good. So anyway, the main antagonists of this game are the drones. You can easily spot them because they light up the area like fucking Christmas. And, uh, you gotta be careful because, uh, you know, like, uh, if they spot you... If they... Spot you... Hmm. Crispy audio. Crispy like how? Is my mic? Is my mic crispy? Like, what do you mean? Hello? Up, uh, up. Uh, okay, no it's not. The mic is fucking up. Oh, no. <laughs> How bad? Shit. Penis. Ah, uh, mamma mia. What do you mean? Sounds fine. Hold on. gone now. What do you mean it's gone now? <laughs> oh no. Hi, right, welcome back to streaming. I can't have the, the go my way for one fucking second. Sound like you're sticking a taser in it for a second. What? <laughs> I 
I think my next mic, I'm just gonna buy, like, another USB mic and fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, to hell with this. So yeah, um, so a lot of this game is, uh, like, strategy. Like, you have to, like, really, like, strategize how you want to, like, go about the world. Uh, falling is, damage is a big concern. The drones are everywhere. They could be every- they could be in a lot of different, like, situations you would not expect them to be. Um, the, I have killed myself in so many ways in this fucking game. Yeah, let me know if that happens again and I'll just unplug the fucking thing. That'll take me a second, but... Yeah. Volume! Get a not sh shitty audio interface. Yeah, you know, the past two ones that I got were not shitty. Were supposedly not shitty. Do you hear that? I hear tape. That's how you know when a tape's nearby, is, uh, you'll start hearing singing. That's what the audio sound like. Ma Did you guys make a clip? Please give me the clip. I swear to God, if neither of you, like, made a clip, I'm gonna be upset. Let me hear this. Also, where is that tape? I heard a tape. But you know, it this this figures it wouldn't be a stream without some sort of technical difficulties. And you want crispy? There's some crispy for you. Yeah, my my fucking ankles. I love how you hobble along after fucking falling. Okay. Ooh, that's um that's a lot of bullets. Not on Twitch. This bit right. Okay, so neither of you got a clip. <laughs> just listen to the audio later, then. Okay, so for magazines like this, I usually don't pick them up. I just there we go. But anyway, yeah, no, the guns are the main focus. If you want to know how detailed these guns are, I will show you. Uh, how do you do this? Got to hold I. That's right. Here we go. This is a cross-section of the firearm. As you can see, every part of the gun is modeled, including the spring. The trigger housing. Every little bit of the gun is, in fact, modeled. For some goddamn reason, look at the, the barrel's even fucking rifled. And yes, thank you, doctor. I am well aware that it's green and purple. By the way, we're... Oh yeah, look, even the fucking, like, magazine is, uh... <laughs> even the magazine has the frickin'... You know... <laughs> this game is just... This game is something else. I'm gonna turn debug mode back off. There we go. Yeah, that's a debug mode feature. I don't understand why the, they don't just... ...have that in there. Oh, there we go. Here's the tape. You have seen the signs around you. So you just pick these up and the, the game talks to you. Creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing inside and a couple kill drones over there by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually count the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes see for the cup chalice oh jesus first step towards awakening your true self the yeah. media is a threat yeah some of these tapes just go on we for have a, a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique. Be careful. You must speak to them. To there advance. we go. Beautiful. I hear another tape, huh? Oh, here's another one. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. Yeah, 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 listen. Yes, you can pause the tapes. Well, anyway. Uh, all the kill drones in this game have, like, different areas where you can shoot. And, uh, sometimes you, you can disable them if you, you know, if you shoot them in the right spot. So since I shot this drone, you know, in the ammo box, it's now powerless to stop me. 
since, you know, it can't shoot. Speaking of shooting, they added a fun feature in Receiver 2 where if you don't hold the gun, if you don't hold the holster button, you'll shoot. Because, you know, your character apparently just has his finger on the trigger at all times. That's why you, if you see me do this, you know, I'll, I'll eject the magazine, put bullets in, put the magazine back in, tap the magazine. That's what that is. It's me hitting Z again. Because apparently you need to do that because uh, magazines cannot be seated properly some, sometimes. Oh, it's just you. And sometimes I'll forget I've disabled a drone, and uh, it'll scare the shit out of me. There. You can also hack the drone once you get up close to him. By the way, you die in one hit, and uh, this is part of the reason why. Rifled rounds! That's a big bullet to be hit with. Yeah, no, it would make you Swiss cheese. Oh yeah, that's your, uh... That's your reflection, by the way, it's a target. There's a tape that explains this. Speaking of... These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads so to I, confusion, uh, impaired decision-making, well, check the chamber? and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? I forget. Who are you? I don't know. What are you doing at this exact moment? Uh, what yes. What do you see? Yes. What do you hear? What? What do you really hear? What? Sorry. Beretta M9 was oh. born to be a movie star. When filmmakers saw it's a... I love the tapes that talk about the, the fucking guns themselves. It just, it's the best ones. Italian curves, iconic open slide, high capacity and large Ooh. screen presence. They started casting it in every action movie. It plays a lead role is in sexy. films like uh, <laughs> Die Hard, uh, The Matrix, Lethal Weapon, Terminator, and even Sharknado. <laughs> when a film or TV director asks for a gun without giving any further instruction, the prop department will probably hand them a Beretta M9. Despite its perfect score on the silver screen, it has some mixed reviews in the field. Many complain really? that they accidentally flip the slide-mounted safety switch when racking the slide, or have trouble wrapping their hands around the thick grip. There was <laughs> also a little problem with the off-brand magazines that the army provided in Iraq. Turns out, they didn't mix well with sand. Oh, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> that'll do it. But despite its quirks, thousands of soldiers, Is sailors, they, uh... airmen, and marines bet their lives on this workhorse of a pistol, and find that it Where gets the you? job done. Uh, most of the time. There's a kill drone somewhere down there. I'd like to point out that if I missed that shot just now, that would have been it. That would have been Swiss cheese, baby. Of course, you don't need to kill every kill drone that you come across, but uh, I find it's usually a good idea to take some of them out. You also don't need to do this, either. There you go. What's my hear tape nearby? Where is it? Okay, it's definitely down here. Oh, hello. Rum, rum. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what, gee whiz, where is what it? What is the fundamental characteristic of balance? So, in order to a advance stone, the stage, perfectly balanced, doesn't move. You have to collect five of these stages. It is this precarious lack of motion, but with so much potential. What's going on here? That's remarkable. Oh, I see. Now, to balance the mind, how the fuck? One needs to bring ideas and feelings into alignment, where they are neither random nor stagnant, equally outward and inward. We neither entirely positive nor negative. Within this narrow space of calmness lies the mind's potential. Failure to find balance results in a chain yeah, there's reaction, a lot of stuff in this cascading game. thoughts How's the volume, and by the way? feelings. Like a stone you know, besides the gun going falling off. out of place. Running into the next. 
No end. Oh, I knocked it There's over. No control. I probably shouldn't use the word artsy fartsy, all things considered, but I don't know what else to call it. Yeah. Volume's fine? I. Okay. I was gonna say, yeah, I, I hope it's fine, because considering I spent like an hour trying to figure that out. <laughs> Gun go. All three of them. Nice. Fun fact, this game has Steve achievements. St Steam, Steve, yeah, Steve achievements. Blit. And uh, the game doesn't actually look use f for them. The brat field in the distance. Yeah, I don't know why the fog's green. I'm not gonna question it. Yeah, I should mention I have played this game for quite a few hours now and uh, <clears throat> voice crack. I've, like, like, there's a bunch of notes you can find, and I've already found them all, so. I gotta say, I'm just here to enjoy the game! Oop! I figured it was gonna see me. Yep. I do love how the music just kicks in, like, like whenever any of those see ya. There you go. So, can't shoot me. Nice. Fucking. Okay, seriously, stop wasting ammo. This game does have some, like, performance problems. Oh, there's a tape right here. All right. Drones don't feel pain. Do they? Ugh, feel that! You make it physically impossible for them to function. The Check out that smooth reload. Completely. <laughs> the thickest parts of the base of turrets, or the rear body of flying drones. Alright. So you probably couldn't hear the tape considering I was just unloading, but uh... So yeah, you collect five tapes, and then you advance a rank. And then you collect more tapes. And then you advance the rank, and you do this until you beat the game. Oh baby! Oh my fucking favorite gun! This is new, by the way. They, they recently added that into the latest patch. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay, hammer back. Check the chamber. It's full. Yeah, they gave me a little shitty magazine. All right, level two. So they're going to start introducing the shock drones here. Which are motherfuckers. They fly and they can electrocute you. And you might be thinking, oh, that's not too bad. You know, they'll just shock you. No. See, in this game, we're in what's called reality B. Yeah. Or is this reality? No, this is reality B. And this is, like, supposedly, like, like, um, you know, they mentioned the threat, right? Well, the threat is this, like, nefarious force that controls everything whatnot. Well, the threat is what's putting all these kill drones here to stop you from surviving the mind kill event. And they also influence a lot of bad factors. Have you ever heard of, like, is it Murphy's Law? Where, is it Murphy's Law where anything that can go bad will go into bad, or is that finagle? Well, anyway, basically, getting sh shocked by a by a kill drone in, you know, in re like regular reality won't cause that much damage. However, in the reality of the, that the uh, threat manifested, it can cause cardiac arrest. So yeah, everything is fatal. Jerk the shit. Oh, fucking. Mud. Mid. Uh. Oh, the gun is shaking. I gotta take a break. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be tricky. I can, uh, th do I have a flashlight? Yes, I do. By the way, the flashlight has double duty. It not only can help you in dark areas, but that, that sounded like it hurt. I can barely move now, too. <laughs> Fun. Anyway, the flashlight can also highlight objects. So, it's actually kind of useful. And that just de-discharged the frickin' magazine. I mean, the chamber. See, I love and hate the 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 uh, the, the negligent, negligent discharge mechanic. I mean, it's cool, and it kind of does te teach you about gun safety a little bit. To understand primary arms and sidearms, but on the other hand, I keep like the gun just keeps going off for no reason. Spears are primary arms, better in almost every way. Uh, cheaper, longer range, easier to use, more lethal. So why bother with sidearms like swords? Oh, 
First, they can be used with one hand, so they work well from horseback. But second, they're expensive, so officers can prove that they're important enough to keep alive when captured, uh, unlike the conscripted peasants. The uh, okay, spear one over and there. sword were gradually replaced by the rifle and handgun, but they continue to fill similar roles on the battlefield. U.S. cavalry continued to use sidearms effectively even through the First World War, where they would flank German machine gunners and silence them with a hail of 45 ACP. You can see this cavalry heritage in the Colt 1911 design itself, with its one-handed yeah, controls, shoot the, the magazine ring, and drop safety. You can see this heritage in the horses as well, really? who often came home with a few 45 caliber holes in their ears. <laughs> Oh, well, there's your... That's what I mean, like, it's gun history stuff, it's great. Huh? Yeah, hi, how's it going? Why did you just randomly go off? Ah, it's a good thing I frickin'... It's a good thing I disabled it before I tried doing that. You can attempt to hack a, a drone without actually disabling it, by the way. And if I didn't disable it beforehand, yeah, it would've just started, like, shooting at me and that would've been bad. Now, consequence for death in this game is uh, a little harsh. Harsh in the sense that you go back a level. So if I die here, it's back to level one. You die on level three, you go back to level two, and so and such. And considering you die in one hit from just about anything, and you can't fall for long distances either, yeah, the game uh, makes you play very cautiously. By the way, fla uh, flashlights will also alert the enemy from very far away. Together, we have laid oh, the foundation. I didn't even hear the You have shown singing. great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. Potential. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? Is it the, is there it the singing? There is an insidious force moving through your media. It's not wrong. Weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. Come on. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. Yeah? A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. Always gotta watch out for the shadows. Okay, so, so they just talked about what the threat is. It's some insidious force that took over the media and is slowly but surely implementing subliminal messages and damaging people. Then at some point the mind kill event happened. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the, like, the plot is... Uh, you know, just there to bolster the game. You know? It's best not to think too hard on it. Like, I'm just trying to explain some of the lore. Some of the lore that, that sort of exists. Ow! Every time I hear that, I feel it. Ow, my calves! Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. I want to knock him off. So bad. Patented Vulcan Vine Tech. <laughs> you out of your Vulcan mind, Jim? Wait, no. <laughs> I, I, I know what I said was wrong. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? I honestly really like the intonation of the voice acting. Yeah, the voice acting is really good. Like, they hired, like, a, a really good dude. Fuck. For the role, I think. There we go. So I have an actual fucking magazine. Whoops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Put the gun away. Do that. And drop the magazine over here. I don't need it. I don't want this one either. Drop the magazine. And, okay, now I have a full magazine. I can put it in here. Reckless slide. Okay. By the way, in real life, if I if, if if I know a gun is chambered, like I'm not gonna leave that hammer up. You know, I'm not gonna leave it like that, cause I mean bad news. I mean I, yeah, you could put it on safety. No, no, it doesn't fire, but yeah, hammer down. If you're not gonna use the gun, hammer down, hammer down always. Cause I mean yeah, safe safety could be up, but you're not sure if that safety's working or not. Also, as a general rule of thumb, you don't leave your gun chambered either. <laughs> you know. Yeah! I'm okay. See, now it begins. See, this is why I'm playing receiver too. 
You wanted your epic streamer bait screaming moments. Yeah, here you go. This is the game for it. Game makes me brick. Oh, look, there's another tape here. We brush our teeth twice a day, but we don't do anything to clean our minds. Are our teeth more important than our minds? Well, I don't know about you, but like I, I just deleted my Twitter account. Measures to resist it. I think the that's pretty well. I think that's some good spring cleaning for you. Twisting your mind to suit its purpose. To survive the mind kill, you must intentionally train your focus, your oh, compassion, a kill drone. your motivation, or it will atrophy and die. What if it's a revolver? Like, what do you mean? Yes, revolvers are completely, like, um, different class of guns. I actually prefer revolvers in this game than the standard firearms. Yeah, they don't have as many shots, but they're really easy to reload. You just pushy. Well, you'll see. I'll get a revolver at some point. Unless it's a super single six. In which case, God help mercy on my soul. Oh, by the way, the Desert Eagle is in this game. You'll get to see me, like, shit my pants over that at some point. I love the weapon because it just one-shots everything. It's wonderful. Also, remember, Dick, you are a little behind, so you might be saying stuff, and I'll forget about it already. Uh-huh. Where are you? Ooh. Whoop, I heard it. Again, I'm very cautious. You gotta be cautious in this game. Oh, there's two of them! Oh, good. How do you not leave a chamber, a revolver chambered, besides taking all the bullets out? Tech revolvers don't have chambers. The cylinder is the chamber. Like... Like... Okay, standard firearms like semi-autos and revolvers are completely different. In a semi-auto, you have a chamber. In a revolver, there is no chambers. That cylinder is the chamber. So, if you want to unchamber a revolver, you just take all the bullets out. Now, if it's a revolver, again, leave the hammer down if you're gonna, if you're gonna leave it loaded. Revolvers usually don't have safeties, but that's fine because double action revolvers usually you really gotta squeeze that shit in order to pu pu pull the bullet off. So yeah, they are safer because that hammer is intrinsically a lot harder to pull. Again, like this is speaking from experience here. I have I have carried both. <gasps> I, what, what was it pointed at me? I can't tell. I know how guns work. I do. I've I've concealed carry both semi autos and a revolver before. I know how this shit works. No, just trust me, don't cap it. Okay, there you are. So kill drones are just like they're the regular kind. You shoot them in a weak point, and they go down easy peasy. I love how that one, since I destroyed the camera, it's just gonna fly around like a fucking like insect just bumping into everything. I could put it out of its misery, but nah, it's funnier. I am gonna kill this one though, um, because <gasps> I'm okay. So okay, so what that was was a sleeping turret. <laughs> what that means is they're not active until you walk in front of them. Goldfish memory. You know, I, I'm playing a video game here, a video game where I kind of do have to like pay attention to how the freaking game works, otherwise I I get I die and I the last ten minutes of my progress is reset. When discharging a firearm, we learn to control our most Forgive me basic for this. autonomic reactions. I kill this guy. Because he can still shock you in the ground. Resulting in death. With slow, steady breathing, muscles neither fully tensed or relaxed. Out of my room, I'm playing Minecraft. Our focus. We breathe in. We check the breach. We breathe out, we release the safety. We breathe in, we aim at the target. We slowly exhale while we squeeze the trigger. Since we are that, already prepared to operate the firearm, we neither anticipate or react to the sound or the recoil. Instead, we breathe in and aim at the target. We slowly exhale while we squeeze the trigger. <laughs> Just break every arcade machine. You can. Again, like, if this game had s Steam achievements, that's one of them. I'm not joking when I say this. What the fuck? Wet robot tree. Hey, I know this one.
Time to eat ass! They must have just added that. I, 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 don't, I don't recognize it. Ah, yes. Here's your daily dose of seizure. Oh, by the way, seizure warning. Seizure warning, don't look at the screen. Don't do it. It's really bad for your... <laughs> I'm so sorry. What the f... Where's that drone? This is why I usually take those things out for God's sakes. I don't like them flying around like that. Speaking of... I wonder why they didn't... They don't have Steam achievements. The game's programmed for them. They just don't have them. Like, I, I guess they just decided not to have them. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the, of the debug shit. Like, it would have been too easy to just unlock the achievements if they gave you debug mode. But I have a feeling one of the devs is really proud of the fact that he modeled every nook and cranny of the goddamn firearms. And really wanted you to see that, but they couldn't figure out a way to implement the, uh... the inspect mode without... not having debug. So there... So the compromise was either have inspect mode and debug, or just take the Steam achievements out, and they just chose to take the Steam but I don't know. I don't know the development of this game. It's... There's a lot of beta shit... in this title. Like, you realize, like, they had bosses planned and everything. There were more enemy types, including a fucking nuclear bomb! But they just took all of them out. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, I'm going backwards. I'm not joking, by the way. An actual nuclear bomb. I watched Vinny play this game, and it gave me nightmares. <laughs> well, here's where he ended up, just over here in the corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put you out of the misery. Just, uh, let me just, uh, get, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> I love the way that the motors just wound down. Hello. Hello, hello, governor. Yeah, just checking for any surprises. I think I just saw something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what's left of that uh, one drone I just I destroyed. I love how the fucking enemy just break into bits in this game. It's great. Yeah, I'm saying that I, you know, the recent update suppose I was like, oh yeah, we uh, we optimized the game, and it's like, yeah, sort of. You know, it's like yeah, you start the game, it runs at 120 FPS, and it runs like that for a while, but then all of a sudden it drops to 90, and then it drops to 60. Before it dropped to about 45. Okay, I think that's a drone. Yeah, oh good, it's both a kill drone and a turret. I got both- I have both types of fun in here. Okay. That's gotta be a hard shot to pull off. You don't need to obsessively reload the magazine after every shot, but I... <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need all the bullets. Oh man, this is... This is horrifying, I don't wanna move. God damn it. Ugh. I have to do something. Okay, next time. All right. All right, let's, let's go, let's go. Oop, I got him. Sort of. I, I shot something off. Is it dropping in increments or is it continuous? It's a little of column A, a little of column B. It's just, it's it's like it, it suffers from both stuttering and like a constant drop. Like right now, it's just at sixty nine, and it's solid. Like it again. Like this game is not very well made. It's like I understand the original receiver was made in a week. It's like yeah, okay, I can forgive that one. But it it seems like they just took that engine and then just added on top of it. You know, it's you can't do that. There he is. Oh! Oh, get fucked. Okay, there's one in the house. Let me just... Uh, shoot. Try to shoot through the window. Gotcha. Yeah, fuck you. There we go. I like to check the uh, chamber. I have not to worry about anything else? I don't think so. 
Nothing down there. Okay, you don't have to do this every time. I just am very obsessive. It's a unity, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I know this because the game crashed on me more than once, and I, I submitted error reports, which included uh, such insightful commentary as also known as Sam rolls his fist on the keyboard in a fit of rage. That's a sleeping turret. Oop, that's another sleeping turret. You motherfuckers. You didn't think I'd see that? With the infinite level loading. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Alright. Careful now. By the way, the way this works is you have to tap G over and over in order to, like, hack it. Easier to do it in the moment. When they're not, like, trained on you. But if it's a drone... Hey, hey, hey. Speaking of drones... That one's still active. You gotta really be careful with the fucking flying kill drones, because you can knock them out of the air, but that doesn't mean they're down. They can shock you in the ground, and I've had, like, two deaths because of that, and bo in both times I've, I've shit my pants. Because you just don't expect it to happen. It's like, oh, it's down, it's fine, it's done, it's... No, it's not, actually. Humana, humana. Boy, I did a number on this one. Look at that, I, I disabled it completely. I broke the ammo box, shattered the camera, and disabled it all in one shot. It, I... Hold on, can I... Uh, oh, wait, no, it's still active. What am I saying? Oh, oh! Yeah, see ya! I love knocking them off ledges. You you knock them over less with the less powerful guns, like the nine the the nine millimeters. But uh, the uh, forty five we have here is pretty powerful. Also, the Desert Eagle is fifty caliber, so you can just knock everything over with that. Oh, excuse me, Jesus. Oh good, dinner's coming back up. Say hi everybody, hi! Shit, shit, shit. The movement in this game makes me like... Shit my life. You'll jump sometimes and the you'll, you'll get random momentum spikes. It's, it's weird. Also, the fucking cube maps in this game are hideous, and I hate them. <laughs> I would turn them off, and then the game looks even weirder. It's like, yeah. Alright. Oh, by the way, you can jump through glass. Let me show that. So let me show that. So let me... For God's sakes. Yeah, there we go. Fuck that window. <laughs> ah, yes. Let's just watch some TV. Ah, yes. My favorite brand of TV. Compressed, highly cropped videos. I love how you're just a walking target. There is a tape that sort of explains that. Um, I don't think we're going to hear it, considering how far I am in the game. Uh, here we go. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, they, they train uh, 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 soldiers to, uh, you know, think of whatever they're shooting at as silhouettes. And at the bottom here it says, After enough training, you can eventually learn to stop seeing people at all and just see silhouette targets everywhere, even in a mirror. I don't know if that's their explanation, or if it's just a little bit piece of uh, information, but uh, I don't know. It's there. That's the problem with this game. There are so many tapes available, and I've already listened to most of them. I hear a tape. Speak it up. Oh boy. Oh, frame rate. Yeah. Oh no. Drone. Where is he? Oh, I can't even frickin' see him! And he's disabled. I just love... I just love 
how you could just disable him like that. And he's looking around going, where am I? Oh god, I can't see! <laughs> nah, I can't take him out from there. Kind of scary to imagine as a real thing. Yeah, but apparently a lot of this data is sourced from real things. Including some of the suicide attempts. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when I say that later. Also, I heard a tape earlier and I just totally ran right by it. Tape? Tape where? Oh, is it in there? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you fucker! Again, with the stupid sleeping drones. Huh? Do you wanna like... Ah, yes. Shooting through glass, my favorite. Don't source me on the real thing. I, just, I pulled that out of my ass. Same thing with the suicide notes. Again, you'll see what I mean. There's there's something called threat tapes. That's why I don't like to leave these things alive because I hear them. It makes me ship my pants. Ship your pants? Oh, I just might ship my pants. Remember that commercial? What the f fuck? Wait. I'm sorry, did I just activate the sleeping drone? After the camera's been destro- Oh, I know why. Okay, you see that big cylinder thing on top? That's a sensor. That's what wakes it up. It doesn't matter that the camera's destroyed. The sensor's still there. By the way, you can also shoot the, uh, the, the, uh, the barrel of the gun. And they try to shoot at you, and they just shoot at the wall. One great. tool used by the threat is called the anti-pattern. Uh, yeah, the here's one right here. Cultivates an atmosphere of terror and anxiety around trivial risks. Gun malfunction. For these Come on, stop fucking uh, malfunctioning. Invariably, the actual purpose of these solutions. That was meant to be a smiley face. It just looks like a big circle. Worse than the initial situation. By associating the search oh, for look, solutions actually pulling the trigger pulls problems, the triggers. The mind becomes locked in a hopeless state with no clear path forward. <laughs> we have developed a mind attack for people trapped in this anti-pattern. Like a hall of mirrors, okay, this construct is based on illusions. And is yeah, when you collect all shattered. five tapes, you're done. Imagine Just that you have changed your have fun, mind discharge about something you never doubt. Whatever. Act like you believe this new truth for an hour. A day. A week. Do things make more sense? This is the feeling of breaking free. Alright, level three. Don't mind me, I have some tums. So we reach Sleepwalker. So at this point... We're halfway through the game. Oh, yeah! Desert Eagle, baby! So here's the part where the game starts to get harder. I mean, it, it, it was already hard before, but... This is the point where a lot of new new players are gonna, like, get tripped up. Oh, safety. Now, with the shoot-yourself mechanic... I mean, it was bad enough before, right? Well... Well, needless to say, with the 50 caliber Desert Eagle, if you shoot yourself, you're dead. <laughs> I don't have to say this, but I'm going to anyway. They had to patch this in, by the way. Because apparently the Desert Eagle didn't shoot you in one hit. I didn't kill you in one hit. By the way, we only have to collect four tapes this time. Look at the size of this motherfucker. Absolute beast of a... of a gun. I am playing with God's wrath every time I holster the gun without decocking it. By the way, there's a drone in here, and I'm just gonna blow him out of existence. You ready? Ooh! There's the uh, there's more than one drones in there. Oh! Where the fuck's the other one? How oh, the hell with this? Oh, 
And yes, the levels from now on start getting themes. Like the theme of level three is thunder. It's great. All right, let's see. Ah, goody. I'll try that again. And I uh, almost knocked him over. Hmm. Okay, I do need to get up there, though, and there's no ladder in here, right? You start seeing a lot of looping rooms. Uh, basically, you've kind of already seen the entire game by this point. The rest is just procedural generation, more or less. I am planning on beating the game tonight. Um, this, this won't be a one-off, either. Um, I'm kind of hoping down the line they'll add mod support. And with mod support, you just add all sorts of loony shit, and they'll, they'll, I'll definitely be checking that out. Also, this could go for an hour, or it could go up to five hours, depending on how many times I die. Anything's possible with this fucking game. Oh my god, I can't take him out. I keep hitting him in, like, non-vital places. How many bullets have I wasted? Maybe I should take an... Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna go take another route. Oh, Jesus. It's either the scary drone room or that room. Where's that other drone? Oh, there you are. Alright, that that guy's down, I think. Huh? But I... I hit him. I heard the noise. Like, what do you mean? For fuck's sake. No death run. Let's go. You know, I have done that. It's extremely hard to pull off. But I have done it. I kind of want to bait him now. No, I shouldn't. Like... Part of its rotors are exposed. I could probably get him to kill itself by sh getting it to jam in a wall. Okay, now it's down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I just gotta take out the other one. He's just right, right above me. Oof! <laughs> Sentry down! So, as I said, they're, they're down, but not out. They can still kill you. Pretty easily, too, actually. There's no fucking sleeping turrets anywhere. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. By the way, I, I, is it this level? It's either this level or level 4 where they introduce ceiling turrets. And those are a lot of fun! So I want to show you what I mean when I say they're still... ...active? Wow, they both saw me at the exact same time and that freaked me out. Uh, okay, so this one I can't show it because it's... Here we go. Does this one still have the turret? The, uh, the box? I mean, let me get... Oh. No. It's broken. Okay, well, anyway, the zapper will go off while they're on the ground. <laughs> Just take my word for it. I'm not gonna, like, try to, like, act... Make it happen. Oh, oh, hello. Give me that. Give me that tape. You are finally prepared to hear this message. Oh, boy. You see reality painted in shades of black. But beyond your world is <laughs> another bathed in radiant light. We have reached out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. We call you receivers. The receiver who is speaking these words was chosen because he is able to hear us with exceptional clarity. I better be careful. I'm going to receive some bullets. You could learn this mind tech, but time is not something we have. There is a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening your mind through your media, lowering Where your is natural it? defenses. There's a drones nearby, I think. The coming attack is unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. And just more and more, you get more and more information. By the way, there's, like, notes. So, like, here's some of the, the personal logs. Day one, it finally happened. It was true! The mind kill, the threat, it was all true! But I've barely started my receiver training. I'm not prepared yet. I can no longer train with my fellow receivers in the compound. Now what? I guess I need to figure out this stuff somehow. Uh, for, but, wait, hold on. I guess I need to figure this stuff out somehow, but for that I need to stay alive. This, this is it, the big moment. This is why I joined the receivers. They mentioned ranks, the endless, how it's you know, just running around. Time is messed up. And, uh, uh, uh. I like that new sound they added. It's nice. So anyway, there's a drone nearby, and I can't... Where is it? I think I might go... Ooh, I think I see him. 
Here's another thing about the uh, the flying drones. They uh, turrets have a pretty small limit, all things considered, on how far they can see you. The drones, however, can notice you from much further away. What? Oh. <laughs> well, he just committed Sudoku on the uh, ceiling there. Uh, good on him. I don't know why I'm gendering the fucking drones and whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Ooh, this is a bad idea. What am I doing? Never drop into like any situation like that. That's a good way to get filled up by Swiss cheese, because knowing my luck, I'm gonna drop down there. A turret's gonna see me. I can't run away because my legs are shattered. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna th this has legitimately happened to me before, by the way. This is experience talking. Drop down there! Leg shattered, can't run! Turret sees me. I go, oh shit, aim my weapon. I start clicking. First shot goes off. Second shot, stovepipe malfunction. Turret then fills me full of holes. Game over. You just never know with this game, man. Tell you. That's a good way to get filled up with Swiss cheese. Did I seriously say that? Did I seriously just say that? Oh my god, it's been- you know it's been too long since you've last streamed when you're having trouble f forming coherent thoughts and playing the game at the same time?! Oh my god, the movement mechanic in this game is bollocks! There we go. I just want to stand on top of here, it won't let me. By the way, drones can move. I think we have a moving one right now, actually. I'd like to point out that there's... Can you hear me over the thunder? Fuck, I forgot I was gonna say. Oh my god, guys, it's been too long since I last streamed. I'm legitimately struggling. There's him. There's some weird graphical effects that happen in this game too, by the way. Like, when you shine a flashlight, I don't know if you can see that, but, uh... For a split second, like, it looks like there's sharpening happening. There's, there's more, like, stuff like that later. Hold on. Alright, um... Excuse me. There's, an, there's another drone somewhere. Pretty sure, right? That can't just be him, eh? I think it is. Hold on. Hmm. Right, what about the one up there? There's definitely one up there. Oh, for God's sake. Careful. Careful. Both set a clip. Did my microphone fuck up again? Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, back to the game. Oops. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> Fucking webcam. Well, that's now part of the VOD. Oh, well. Hi, it's a uh, good thing I'm wearing shirt today, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least you weren't naked. Yeah, exactly. I, I usually am never naked when I'm in here, just as a general rule of thumb. Okay. Yep, that one's taken out. Like DSP. I don't know. I don't think DSP ever. 
No, no, Phil never walked in on a stream naked. Um, he jerked off on cam one time without turning it off. So, like, all you saw was... You know, his face while he was making... Well, he was just... It was pretty obvious he was jerking off. And then I love how he later said, Oh, no, I was just scratching an itch. It's like, no. No. No, no it's pretty obvious what you're doing, my man. We've all heard about jerking off, but what about jerking on? I think he was doing that too, actually. By the way, I love how it's raining, but you don't see rain. What? What is? See how they travel? Oh man, did I miss? I think I missed. What is this noise I'm hearing? Oh ho ho! Yeah, that one went flying. That's why I love the Desert Eagle. No, seriously, I don't know what this noise is. By the way, I think I know how they optimized the game, because that texture wasn't originally that crusty. Huh. Anyway. Oh, you don't even have your shocker anymore. Harmless, but I'm going to take them anyway. He was scratching a primitive itch, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one way to put it. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna use the webcam again, I'm sorry. But he just, he was sitting there like this. I mean, come on. Jesus Christ, Phil. How many bulls do I have left? Four plus one in the chamber, five. All right. Ooh. Oh, that one saw me. I heard the beep go off as it was going down. Ethan climb triggered. Do the Ethan face thing. No. 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 No, we're not doing that. No more face cam. Ah! Oh, shit! No, 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 son. No, I don't want that in my life. Gonna have to fight him. Got him. Oh shit. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this game? I've never heard it do that before. Now you see why you hate these sons of bitches. They'll fucking, like, run you down, man. Crap, I'm out of ammo. Well, I mean, not completely, but... Can't put any more in the clip now. That's not good. Was that not supposed to happen? No, it's not supposed to get hung up on geometry and then start going... <laughs> That's a new one for me. How many hours in? Oh yeah, 57. By the way, I just... I am so glad... That I took the hammer off because me all me like shift tabbing just pulled the gun out like really quickly and that would have that would have ended the run right there if it was fucking able to fire. <laughs> ah, Dios mio! All right, I hear a tape. Oh, by the way, like you could shoot this and it makes a really loud noise, but I'm not going to because I want to save my bullets. Just a fun fact. I hear a tape. Where is it? Anyone hear that? Yeah, it's in there. Fuck. Oh my god, I do not have the ammo to be wasting on you. Ah, shit. <laughs> I know. Gotcha. All right. Oh my God! I'm gonna piss myself. The mind kill functions by severing the connection between what you think of as the mind and body. This inflicts serious damage to both parts and leaves the mind defenseless in reality. A. If you survive the mind kill, tape? you will not be unaffected by this severing. 
by strengthening and maintaining your connection, yeah, you will close. be able to punch through this interference. But your perception of the world lives here. will be radically altered. The world of reality B is realized by the radiance cast from above. After the mind kill, much of this transmission will be scattered. Through mind tech, you can clear a path, but the shape of this path is determined by the shape of your mind tech. I know what I'm doing. We predict ah! that you may find the world similar but changed, familiar yet distorted. Interactions between two receivers may bend realities. What? Ultimately, the effects on reality B are unknown, and so our preparations are focused on the self. Sometimes there's goodies out there, that's why I did that. <laughs> also, I just really love breaking the glass in this game. Am I going crazy or do I hear another tape? Oh yeah, you can play pool. Actually, the pool mechanics in this game are really well done. Which is ironic, considering you can't, like, play it other than just jumping on the table. Which, if I did that, you know, on a real pool table, it, it would just bend inward. Yeah, it's really good. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, let's scratch the cue ball. Here, here we go. Ah, fuck. By the way, there's supposed to be a steam achievement for this, too. Yeah, eight ball quarter pocket. Yeah, I win, diddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, just scratch it, who cares? All the balls, yeah! I'm done. I hear a tape. Where the fuck is there a tape? God, where is there a tape? Where? Is it in the bathroom? It's a- why is it in the sink? We must plan for the eventuality that we are not able to fully oh, there's one in the toilet. receiver and are unable I'm done. to prevent the mind the kill. The fucking level's over. Yeah. These are the most Desert Eagle all over the gong. You ready? Here we go. Before the mind kill. Is it hard to hear the tape? It's hard to hear anything. Aspect of their own Welcome to the loudest thing you've ever heard. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Once we have built this multifaceted geography, we can make a map of the mind. In this state, the mind can safely manage new experiences and retain a sense of self in even the most adverse circumstances. If you find yourself conscious during the mind kill event, find the nearest safe cell. Listen to the clear tape and perform your min thought drills. Mm, if you feel yourself drifting, initiate your core mind tech. If your preparations have been successful, your first actions after the mind kill should be to check your firearm and make it ready, making note of your ammunition. The threat will be targeting you with their kill drones. After that, you must find tapes and you ammunition want to, hear me crack my to stay alive and to continue <sighs> your Never training mind. to reach an awakened state. We Super, don't know what Super mind Major, tech is being used by the threat to execute the mind kill. But we do know that it gives them some control over probability. Murphy's law is in effect. Okay, it is Murphy's law. If you law. fall, you will land wrong. So it's the tape if that explains you that. have a clear shot, your weapon will malfunction. If you uh, dodge a bullet, you will get hit by a ricochet. Now, if you train All these things the can't happen, by the way. case scenario, you will be ready. <laughs> I, I've been hit by ricochet, yes. Here you go, level four. I'm doing really well. Like, usually, I don't get this far without, like, de-ranking at least once. Alright, so we're at liminal. <clears throat> we're nearly there. Okay, what have, what have we got now? Ah, goody! My favorite weapon in the game! Woohoo! Ah, yes, the fucking Glock. This is the most infamous one. Of course, the Glock's infamous because there is no safety. <laughs> Chances are, eventually during this game, you will get shoot- you will shoot yourself in the leg with it! <laughs> and... 
a magazine with a lot of the bullets missing. Eh, that's good. Yeah. So anyway, what this is is the uh, the X's. Uh, it basically means the uh, the magazine is blocked. This is uh, a result of a uh, not fully manifested part. Some shit like that. I don't know. They had a weird explanation for it. The Glock's a fine weapon, but I mean, with that negligent discharge mechanic, what happens is I just shoot myself in the cock all the time. By the way, welcome, welcome to level four where everything's on fire. It's at this point where you should start feeling that, uh, that, that lovely feeling of, oh, the game's starting to get brutal. If I don't die here at least once, I, I will be shocked. By the way, I'm pretty sure I saw a drone over yonder. Why does the game look unrealistically massive? It's 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 trying to pull off a you're in a big city, but you're on this. Okay, <laughs> the game's not the way it's it structures rooms in a line right from north to south, and it, it basically it loops more or less. You get procedurally generated rooms, and by and by that I mean you get like different prefabs with with different configurations and different placements, and then you run along the line and it loops. But yeah, it's, um, again, this, this world is not the real world. This is a, a manifestation of what the real world is supposed to be. They kind of, they do cover this in one of the tapes. I'll probably not encounter it. Again, it's not important. Try not to think about it. That was a really good shot. Holy shit. So yeah, if it feels like the stakes are going up higher, then yeah, they are. And that's a ceiling turret down there. My goody. By the way, uh, for anyone who's just getting into this game, uh, by default you double tap, you just you you tap W in order to like sprint. I suggest turning that off ASAP and just using shift, because you will run into the situation where you're like down, you're like this, you're, you're looking down, and you just want to inch closer, inch closer, and sprint. Trust me, turn off that shit immediately. Everything is on fire, yes. Yeah, I do love how, like, the overall world just gets more and more fucked up as you go. Until the last level, which you'll see. Uh, I don't like... So at this point, we only have to collect four, four bullets. You will get knee-fucked. Yeah, your legs will explode. You really can't fall that far without dying. I mean, look at that fucking turret placement. Oh, A-plus on the threats part, but... Good. Alright. So, the game actually... I hate the Glock. I hate the Glock so much. I know, I know. Just hold your finger on the, the, the fucking holster button for what a second. But, uh... Yeah, four bullets. I, I hate... Look at all the bullets the Glock can hold, and this is the magazine I started with. Have fun. My favorite... Anyway, well, what the fuck was I saying? No, really, what was I saying? Guys, help me out here. What? Oh. By the way, like, once you, like, destroy a camera, like, they will just run off into the skybox. It's great. Like, if we sit here and wait, it'll take, it'll take a while, like, at least half an hour. But, uh, they will eventually just hit the skybox. It's wonderful. Two tags for this stream are English simulation based on what you said earlier about Swiss cheese. I, c I can't- I can believe that. What? What? The tags- What? <laughs> this stream is going places, man. I love it. Oh, right! Malfunctions! I remember now. Yeah, the game actually keeps track of different malfunctions. And you misread my sentence, therefore proving this is an English simulation. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I read it correctly. What are you talking about? The two tags for the stream are English simulation, based on what you said about Swiss cheese. Oh, I can believe that. I see, I see. Yeah, I... I, I, I. Oh, Deagle, those are separate tags. The English is because I'm streaming this in, in the English language, and simulation is because of the game itself. 
I was like, gotta realize, like, I'm paying attention to the game just as hard as I am, like, looking at the damn chat. Anyway, gum, gun, gun, the gun can malfunction in a bunch of different ways, including failure to feed stove pipes, which you saw earlier. You see the failure to feed as well. It's, it's when the bull doesn't go into the fucking chamber like it should. Uh, stove pipe is when the bullet doesn't eject properly and gets stuck on the slide. I seen that earlier. There's also out of batteries and double feed. You will probably see both of those as well at some point, and we'll explain them when they pop up. This game's really good, though. <laughs> I, I shouldn't love this game as much as I do. But I... I don't know. Hard to explain. Full magazine? Oh, baby. Motherfuck. Okay. Uh... 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 uh hello? Y yeah y Yeah? Oh. Mm. What? Hello? Hello? I think we crashed. God damn it. Yes, open that up. I can't. The fuck is this? What? Matthew Kroger trying to connect you. Stop it! Don't make Parsec pop up. Fuck off! There we go, I got it. What the fuck? Can I have my mouse, please? An unhandled exception. Oh good, I brought up Vucky Visual Studio. Piss off. Oh good, okay, Receiver 2 has stopped working. Alright, yeah, the game crashed. <laughs> the game crashed and, and fucking Visual Studio was up and it just prop propped up a fucking message. I was trying to get the message to appear so I could show it, but I, I couldn't get to it because the fucking game was just layered on top. Ah. Look, you, you can have this while I'm trying to reload. Why is it weird? Have you found Jesus? Well, I found him. Fucking hell. Anyway, back to the game. I, I just. Oh, let's see how much I lost. Just kind of eats the monitor. It, it wasn't fully eating it. it it's, we, I, could, I can't explain it. Everything just started failing, and- oh, oh, actually. Oh, okay, so the level just restarted. Alright, fine. 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 Wait, no. No, what? Okay, so my- my inventory changed. Wait, no, 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 I actually need that magazine back. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it! Let's try this again. I know, I know the Glock's supposed to be a good gun, but I see this and all I can think of is toy. I, I'll fucking buy a high point more than I'll buy a Glock. I don't know. Uh, Glock just... I don't know. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. Oh, and the procedural generation is completely different in... And shit now. Like, the world layout is same, but look, there's no turrets now here. Where'd they go? Yeah, look, completely different. Okay. So that's one way to cheese, I guess. Just hope for a crash. Look, look, I'm doing much better this round. What the fuck? I love how the world does this. They just add doors. It's fuck you. By the way, if you do this, you can, you can see your gun much better. I love this because you can actually read, like, what the switches do in the back. It's kind of hard to tell, but it says, uh, semi and... Pill. I think it's supposed to be auto, but, you know... <laughs> Well, time to... Ooh! Oh, no. Did it just load that? <laughs> I... That... Hmm. Ooh! <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> the pop-up is real. Okay, now let's see if I can deactivate this drone without a... That's sending it off. Yeah, there you go. It's just like the EC, you need to stick your finger in this bun hole and just twist. There you go. Cool. One, may, one way to make the Glock safe to, for a holstering is to, uh... 
you know, take the round out. Just eject that round out of the chamber. Make sure there's nothing chambered. Which, uh, let me show you how that's done. First, you need to take the magazine out. Put the magazine in the inventory. Hold G, and then push R. By the way, hold G, just grab, grab, grab the bullet. Now, it can't fire. You take, push 2, push Z, and now the gun is safe for holstering. Yeah, doing that every time is a huge pain in the dick. No, thank you. Wouldn't have to do that if the fucking Glock had a hammer. Uh, how did you see me? By the way, we, we, we've, we've had quite a few updates and the game is still crashing. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, yeah, I do. How about upset? Okay, I think I see how I'm gonna do this. I need to not get seen. Did I get him? Okay, I think I just took the sensor out, which means that it'll, it'll have a harder time, like, actually shooting at me. Yeah, when you take the sensor out... I, I'm not entirely sure what it does. But I do notice the the turrets have a harder time, like, actually pulling off a shot with, without, the, without their sensor. Did, I think I just took out the ammo. Did I take out the ammo? I think I just took out the ammo. Unfortunately, it's still chambered. Yes, the turret had the tur turrets can be chambered, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna shoot at me. So I, I need to take it out completely. There we go. Okay. Huh? Oh, ran out of bullets. But I love how like like it's enough of a simulation where like look like sometimes like with the slide. There it is. Okay. I've had that happen to me in real life, where putting a magazine into the gun will sometimes release the slide. That's not an, an, an intended feature, it's just part of the, of the mechanics of the gun. And I love how this game actually simulates that, where you could, like, the slide will get released sometimes just putting the magazine in the gun, just from the force of the magazine coming in. They actually simulated that. I remember, like, and I remember this too, because, like, one of my guns has a real problem with that. And I say I call it a problem because it it, uh, it 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 pulled skin off my hand more than once because the fucking slide gets caught. It's great fun. Never hold if if you're gonna reload a weapon, then never hold it by the slide. You know where you the webbing and your hand get caught in the slide. It's a life lesson there. Oh good. Yeah thanks. Failure to feed right there. All right. Cool. Put the magazine right the bad gun, bad gun, slap the gun, yeah. Oh, you're dirty guns. I'm sorry. <laughs> look at this turret, look at this fucking dude. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh damn it all. Shit my pants. I just made shit my pants. Off. There's so many noises going on right now. <laughs> Who's fucking blowing leaves? I know, right? It's... You know what that is? That's... That's the turrets. They're ceiling turrets up the ass down there! Oh no. Oh, by the way, I'm home alone so I can pound the desk all I want. Fuck. There you go. Damn, I don't think I took him out. What? What the? You fucking idiot! Fucking <laughs> the turret just slammed into the glass. I mean the uh, the fucking drone. Oh my god. Oh, it's this one in particular that's just making all sorts of noise. I'm gonna get up there and try to take that out. All oh, right, that's right. They patched out the ability to. Ah, oh. you used to be able to. Uh, it hacks turrets through walls. Can't do that anymore. And I, I don't. I, I'm not gonna waste another bullet on it. Oop! Hello. Yeah, the danger music pops in whenever something sees you, or whenever you take aim at something. 
Like this. He's already been disabled. Although I, I don't know what this is called, but it's like you have your standard aiming where the gun follows your screen, but then if you slow down, you can you could fine tune your aim and not move the camera. I don't know what that's called, but it's pretty cool, and I wish more games had that. Like like whatever this is. It's a turret. I mean, it's a drone still trying to get through the glass. Jesus. Well, see now this is called a stovepipe. You know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the cartridge doesn't fully eject. However, it's, you know, it just gets caught. It's really easy to fix this one, by the way. You just rack the slide. Hey, run off, it's been a while. <laughs> I see you found my, my crappy emotes. Alright, that one, that one's down. Uh, take it easy. By the way, you can tell what type of turret it is by the noise. If it's a constant running like that, that, that means it's just looking around constantly. However, the ones that look around once in a while have a much different sound. Oh, I wish I would fuck off. That's a sleeping turret. I see you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hi, I poop my pants. Look over there, somewhere else, please. There. Now I can take care of this fucker. Oh, that could have been real bad. There, got him. Oh my god, I don't like this. I hate- I, I just- I hate the sounds of these drones, man, I'm telling you. They're even worse in Receiver 1, because un unlike Re Receiver 2, they- they don't kill themselves on walls, so... Receiver 2, yeah, they- they follow you further, but... It, they're a little easier to take out. Receiver 1, if one of them sees you, and you don't have a safe getaway, or you can't shoot them off in time... It's a- it's- you're done. Finito. Alright. There's another one, and I think I see it. No? There are so many drones nearby. For a moment, I thought you were playing VR. Nope, this is not VR. I do not have a VR set. I want one, but I don't have the money. This VR, this game would be great in VR. It would. However, really, I would say just play Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, really. I think you get more of a game for that. I don't know. Really, this is like the, the next best thing if you can't play, like, Triple H. Although you don't get the sweet story. <laughs> you know, about drones and existential crisis and suicide and... No, really, there, there are suicide notes. Here, you want to hear one? By the way, you have to figure out what's a suicide note when you, uh, when you hear it, because, you know. I'm so sorry. I've always been such a disappointment. Yeah, if you hear shit like that, um, take the magazine out of the weapon, get the round out of the chamber, because the game's gonna make you pull, eat your gun. I'm not joking. This is an actual game mechanic. Is that in Triple H? <laughs> yeah, yeah, story and atmosphere. The atmosphere is wonderful. Done. Also, the sound effects are really good. <laughs> Suicide, great. Actually, um, all, the, all the threat echoes, they talk about it. They, it. they leave suicide notes, but then you listen to them. They have threat recovery tapes, and it's like, oh, what's that? They don't actually kill themselves? Yeah. Fun fact. Again, I have to come across one of those tapes. You won't believe what the game does. And the first I'll never forget the first time it happened, too. It, you feel so helpless when the game is just... Mm, I, you'll see. Okay, nope. 
That, that, that's a lovely place to put a fucking ceiling turret. Thanks, game. Done. How many bolts do I have left? Yeah, let me just... Uh, restock. Yeah, man, I... love how the game crashed, so I... I lose my magazine. I haven't come across a single tape yet, have I? Yeah, this is not going well. Yeah, and Tech just said, haven't seen any tapes yet. Yeah, that's the pers <laughs> That's the thing about procedural generation. It's either that or I just haven't been looking. Another thing, too, is the further in you go, the harder the tapes are to hear. <laughs> so, I could have been blowing right by them the whole time and just... Yeah, oops. I think I'm gonna go lower. Going downstairs in this game is some of the scariest shit, and that's one of the reasons why... Over there! My phone going off. Oh, okay. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, yeah, 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 okay, shh, it's okay. It's okay, he's done. Yeah, there you go, bye, see ya. I mean, the ones where the threat takes control. Oh yeah, th those either. <laughs> Usually I see one of those by now. Guess the game's not depressed enough! Oh no! Shit, I might have to take a stand here. Oh! Oh good. Ah, welcome to Panic 2. <laughs> oh, that's put me in a- that's put me in a weird of a bit- a, a weird- a, a bit of a bind, huh? That's fine. We're I'm okay. Y yeah, it actually getting out of a drone's line of sight when once you once they spot you is really hard to do sometimes. I, I got lucky there. All right, let's see here. I don't think I've been down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> yeah, voice cracking. My favorite. Uh huh. Hello. Yeah. Ah. I see you way over there. Got him. Yeah, get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Question, did I take that up? I must not have. Oh no, I, I took him out before the game crashed. Okay, calm down. Oh, you fuck it. I prefer taking the camera out because they can still see me and just hearing that beat makes me shit life, but uh, I hear one. It must be below me. Baby blow me. A oh, kiss as you leave. Blow me. <laughs> None of you are going to understand that reference. Hit him, for fuck's sake! There we go. Where's that tape about feeling frustration? I I, I need to listen to that one. Oh, no, which one is it? Uh, trigger discipline, wall of truth, CQ breathing, sight bitter, malfunctions, and disassembly. Here we go, calm under fire. When confronting the, the threat, a receiver must always remain calm. Most people panic under pressure and, and, and shoot before properly aiming. Remember that it's better to fire one shot that hits than ten shots that miss. That is sound advice. Here's one about frustration, too. In the face of frustration, it's normal to feel anger and disappointment. Receivers are trained to understand and accept these feelings <sighs> and allow them to flow through their mind unobstructed and out the other side. Got a coof. Leaving only clarity and resolve. Okay. Ah, I feel calmer already. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'll get pissed again when I get shot. Oh no, it's a ceiling turret! Ah, dicks. This mic sounds like crispy pancakes again, really. Nah, it went away. Yeah, get a clip, please. I really need to hear that. I only have it for a second. Oh, 
Should I replug the the uh, the Behringer? I can do it really quickly. Um, it'll take me like I don't know, like 15 seconds to do, because all I got to do is just stop Jack and relaunch the programs. Is it really that bad? Like this is why I ask. Like I really want to hear it. Hmm. My old mixer died. I just got this mixer too. Deagle, it's it's the mixer that you have, but it's the smaller one with only like one port. It's the same fucking thing. Like uh, the fuck. I ain't got the money to be spending on these things right now. What the fuck? It could it be the Behringer, or could it be like something else? Because don't forget, like, I wonder if it's Windows causing that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mean the mix. The mixer is plugged into Linux, but I wonder if it's. That audio interface that's taking the digital in on Windows. Oh, you're talking to tech. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Anyway, back to the game. You know what? Just to be sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, gonna go ahead, and uh, restart the uh, the the Behringer. I will be back, but in a second, you might hear some strange noises. Don't worry. That is normal. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Alright. And we're back. <laughs> Adore is beeping the farm at me right now, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, there we go. So I just, I just, I just, I, I stopped Jack. I replugged the hardware. We'll see if that did anything. Because if not, then I don't know what else to do. Alright, cool. Back to the game. Right. Yeah. Yeah, sitting on the balls. Alright, there we go. So let me know if that happens again, because uh, if that happens again, I don't think it's the Behringer. Too bad you're not recording on Linux. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Give me a sec. Start, start, re start replay buffer. There we go. I'll just do like a replay buffer, and if it happens again, I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Anyway, gotta get my head back in the game. So I hear a <coughs> turret. There's another one down there. Sit in the balls, yeah. Yeah, no, like... I'm not gonna explain what happened. I- I've seen this image. I don't know where I've seen it, but I have. I love the part of the chair that's specifically cut out for the shaft. That's amazing. <laughs> Do a full recording in case you missed it. I, you guys will tell me when it happens again, and the replay buffer lasts up to two minutes, so... I ain't too concerned. Anyway, well, what am I gonna do with about him? Oh, I see. Yeah, miss, that's what I'm gonna do. There you go. Hi, welcome to Sam's Gaming Show, where there are technical issues out the snatch. Sam wants to shove his mouse up this jacksy. Up the jack... I heard up to Jaxie the other day, and I was like, I just, I never heard it before. Diggle, you're British. How come you never said that? It's not even used that often, is it? 
<laughs> just like, what, a, what do you mean up the jacksy? And then I looked it up, I'm like, oh, I see. I have no idea what you're saying. It's a British slang. It means up the ass. Like, up the jacksy. Yeah. I heard, uh, I heard, I heard, uh, a, a, like a YouTuber say it. But it's just... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Shit. <laughs> Shit cutter. Shit cutter. Guys, I'm not gonna play Bruno on the stream. I just, I can't. Oop, I hear a tape. I finally hear a tape. Where is it? Where? 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 When? How? Why? Okay, just where? All where? Probably in there. Take you out. Hey, you guys are the bullshit. Where's the tape? Where's the goddamn tape, Eggman? Oh, there's a fucking drone down here for fuck's sake. Oh, no. By the way, I love how, you know, if you're not directly looking at the turret, you notice how, like, there's a vignette? The vignette actually shows in the direction of where it's spotting you from, so you have a subconscious way to tell exactly where the fucking thing spotted you at all times. It's a pretty cool effect, actually. Yeah. But oh, there it is. You are on the edge of something much greater. I'm not edging at all, really. Under ideal circumstances. I'm not DSP, sorry. It is now possible that you could survive the mind kill. When the mind kill happens, so I gotta check everywhere. Will not be ideal. Similar to the training with firearms. Is there a setting in the option to disable yodeling? I don't think so. No, that's stats. Uh, there's a setting to soften the gun sounds, but I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> there's an FOV setting. I leave that alone. Uh, reflection probes. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. Your mental defense. You, you don't want to, to disable it anyway nature. because it's the Moving only way that, that you can tell when there's a tape nearby. Your goals, rather than You're stumbling, crippling yourself if you turn that off anyway. Predictable. Once you have mastered these techniques, boop, boop, it will boop, allow boop, you boop, to boop, boop, the next stage of awareness. The heavy eyelid of your mind's eye flickers. Soon you will awaken. Sorry, I'm okay. You, uh... You okay, buddy? Guys, I think the tourist just jamming out with the music. Like, I don't know, man. The fuck's going on here? It already sounds like she's being strangled, so nothing I can do with my sister. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Um, in the original game, there is no way to tell when it, when it tapes nearby. Like, at all. However, the environments were simple enough to where you didn't really need to. Like, they were highlighted on the ground. So... That's why I said, like, that's why they uh, put the yodeling in, because it really helps you, like, know when there's a tape nearby. It, yes, the yodeling is... The throat singing, as it's what's called, is uh, different per level. No, 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 son! No, thank you! Why did I do that? Boy, it just instantly saw me when I tried that. What was that? What was that they said in that one tape? You keep calm under pressure, guys. I don't think I don't think I have what it takes to be a receiver. Like I, I just like I, I I don't want the job. Like they can keep it, man. Like I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it, man. 
I don't know, as soon as I hear that beep, man, like, the bricks come out. Like, I don't know what to tell you. There's a magazine there. Oh, please tell me it's a good one. Ah, yes. How about go and fuck yourself? Hold on to it. It's not throat singing. That's what the, that's what the soundtrack called it. Oops. No, we don't we don't need help. Something called it throat singing, I don't know. Ah, I love that. Just one shot, that's all you need. One shot for everything. Yeah, there's more. There's more there, I see him. For fuck's sake. Oh, that didn't take it out? No, 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 no. Put the gun away. By the way, yes, you, you could put the Glock on full auto. And it's, uh, it's glorious. You just turn it to bullet shower. Which is not useful against the drones per se, but it's... It's good for, uh, wasting all of your ammo. By the way, you could play this game without killing a single drone. It, it is possible. It, mm, wouldn't recommend it. I, I actually kind of prefer to shoot things, honestly, but, you know. Shit's on fire, yo. <laughs> Where is he? Where is it? Oh, goody. So, there are some tur turrets that are, uh, that are armored. That's one of them. Makes it a little hard to hit. This is gonna be one hell of a shot if I can pull it off. Ah, oh, yeah! There's also a drone nearby. I don't know where it is. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's probably, it's not actually throat singing. I, I, I just... I just thought about what throat singing actually is, and it's... I, I thought of that, that one video with, like, the, like, like the, uh, the... That one dude going... It didn't quite sound like that, but I can't fucking do it. It's, it's some kind of singing. I forget what it was called. It's like... It's not yodeling. <laughs> you know what yodeling is? Yodeling! That shit. I hear some singing. I feel like I've been here. Wait, have I? Yeah, I've already been here. Was that wrong? One song that just goes walk around in circles. Okay. No. I love these little moments of calm. The anticipation especially kills you. <laughs> and if that won't, the drones will, huh? Oh, I already took him out. Wait a second. Guys, I think the world looped. Either the world looped or... I went backwards. Wait. I've been here. Yeah, I've been here. This is where we spawn. I see what I mean. You, you, it's like a Mobius strip. <laughs> Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. So where is he? Right? Didn't I like choose not to go down there be <laughs> because there's a fucking drone in in the, in the area? Look at the fire. Yeah. Wait, didn't I run out of an area because a drone chased me? I never went back and f killed him, didn't I? Shining his light right on the rafters, I saw it. 
little hard to see with the fire, but trust me, it's happening. I think. Eh, maybe not. Where is this drone? I- Oh, there I think I see him. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to actually go down there. Like, there is no ifs, ands, or buts. I ain't gotta go down there. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going in. Oh. Oh, good. Look. Damn it. Again, you realize what happens if I die here, right? Like, I don't have to explain it. Like, we're doing level 3 over again? Yeah. Okay. I'm not- I'm not kidding when I say they drop you a level. Like, it's- you gotta go through- through rank 3 again. It's like, yay, fun. Okay. I hate when I get like this, too. It's just like... Like, you don't want to fail, so like, you just- you just keep- YES! So you, you just... It paralyzes you. The fear paralyzes you. You don't want to keep going- you don't want to go forward. Because so many times in this game, I've- yeah, drop the magazine. Good. Because so many times... It... So many times in this game, I've just... I've done that. I'd be like, ah, it's fine. Just go forward. And then something just catches me off guard. Like, I don't... I know I shouldn't shouldn't worry about it, but still. The problem is I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I get immersed a little too much into the game. <laughs> Did that noise make anyone else jump or just me? Oh, when you play this game, you'll you'll see. Those th those beeps will be the bane of your existence. Ah! I'm I'm getting jumpy. Oh fuck! This game's got me on edge now. I don't I can't. Ugh. Oh, have a full magazine finally. Ah! Good job, asshole! <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> hey, look, there's another drone up there. there oh, there's balloons. Oh, balloons. <laughs> You'll bust a nut first time you play. Trust me, you, the first time you fire this, this baby up, your nuts are gonna be quaking. I'm sorry, are those two ceiling turrets right next to each other? Wait, are those security cameras? It's way too early to have security cameras. What do you mean? Wait a second. Those are security cameras. You can't have security cameras this early. Can you? Guys, guys, I think they changed the game because I don't... There shouldn't be security cameras at level fucking four. Oh, good. Beagle, you just send me some of Discord. Now I can't read the chat. Get out of here. There we go. Huh? What'd you, what'd you just send me? No? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I accidentally... Oh, okay, never mind then. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Damn it. Is there a way to suppress KDE, like, no, like, notifications for a bit? There is a way to do that, right? Yeah, let me check. Uh, no notifications. Uh, do not disturb. And there we go. For one hour. Perfect! God, I love technology. Eh. Yeah. So anyway, security cameras are fun because, uh, if they go off... I fucked myself. Go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Did you 
<laughs> Did you see how I, uh... Oh, he's right there. Did you see how I... Did you see how I put the Glock into full auto mode? <laughs> that was panic right there. I... The mistake I made was running up the stairs. I shouldn't have done that. Oh! Look who it is! Wait. That's the armored turret. Why is he disabled? I think that's a better question to be asking myself, honestly. God damn it. Problem with these turrets, too, is they like to hang out, like, right outside of where they last spotted you. So let me just check the clock. Now I'm just gonna wait for it to uh, pass by the door again, and then I'll go out there and shoot it. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually it comes back again. Oh my god. Look the other way, please. Look the other way. Atta boy. Fuck off! I probably didn't need to kill it, but... Yeah. That's gratification. You see, see what I mean about the drones? They can spot you for so far. Yeah, these are security cameras. Let me show you what they do! Nah, I probably shouldn't. What they do is, if they spot you, you have a second guy out of their line of sight. If you don't, they'll start ringing and uh, they'll track the attention of every drone in the area. Which is uh, wonderful. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Fuck. I don't think there's any other drones in the area for it to call. Hmm. By the way, you used to not be able to do this. You originally could not hack these things. Which means the only way to, like, get rid of them permanently was to shoot them. And you really don't want to be wasting ammo this time, but at this part of the game. Why is this area filled with three... There's three... Fucking... Why are there three security cameras in here? Two of them are just right next to each other. This game taking the piss. Taking the big... Taking the major biss. Oh no. I, I didn't see what it was, Deagle. <laughs> it just... No, the thing I was complaining about was the big notification that popped up. It wouldn't go away until I acknowledged it. Okay, fuck it. Oh boy! Aren't they fun? It's my favorite! Oh my god. For the advanced receiver, one of the best indicators that you have been mentally undermined by the threat is a strong confidence that you have not been. Now, the subconscious mind is difficult to map, and oh, systems of doubt can be built oh, while cool. you sleep in your unremembered dreams. Then, a, a seemingly uh, innocuous cue can trigger a mental collapse. How old is that laptop? If you were truly free of negative influences, you would have already awakened. Because of substantial positive progress, it is necessary to assume that an equal amount of subconscious traps have been implanted by the threat. The more you make, the more no. threat will turn. <laughs> Dick! 
black holes! Oh boy, we get to see level three over again. Yeah, at least we get the Beretta. I panicked. <laughs> I somehow brought up Discord when I did that. Older than me, maybe. I am. Yeah, that is old laptop. And I paused the video somehow. Oh well. You know, if I didn't panic and just let it run by, that wouldn't have happened. See what I mean about the negligent discharge mechanic? It's bullshit. You know what else is bullshit? Oh, wait, hold on. Don't mind me, just, uh, saving us all some time. Alright. Starting over. Yeah, so typing insight into the, uh, the game will just allow you to advance a rank. Can't beat the game doing this, we actually have to do the last stage legit. But, uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing this. I don't... You get the idea, I don't need to redo the last stage over. 2005, wow. That's a pretty good laptop, though. So where'd you get that old thing, anyway? Like, you still got your other laptop, right? You just picked that guy up? Hmm. I gotta... I'm just gonna put Discord over here. There. Prepared for making space, just sitting on the shelf to another. Yeah, there you go. At least I got my Colt back. Ah, man. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. I was just gonna... shit my pants and then... It's fine, like the... That run was shit anyway. Not enough tapes. The, the, the tapes are probably in really bullshit locations. So it's fine. Fine, I'll just use... I think the drone's trying to plow through the glass again. It's okay, right? Just to, so, we, so we don't waste time. And we're down to 46 frames per second. Good, you can see that lag, can't you? Like, that that's low enough to where you can see that on the stream. Ay, ay, ay. I... Uh, Optimizations, yeah, good. Right, it's fine, I got this. Oh, what the? F really? Sleepwalker. Oh, here we go. Cult Detective Special. Oh, here we go. So here's a, re here's a revolver. Fun things about the revolvers. Uh, chambers can be blocked. Meaning, yes, you can't use that chamber. However, as I said, they're really easy to just reload. You just hold G, push V to reject the rounds, and then just... And you're ready to go. There. Again, let me go back up to level four. Still got to beat the levels, but I'm just that gun deranking mechanic again. Fuck itself. So, so I made another dumb mistake, and that was to stand behind barrels. Again, Murphy's Law. It's like, oh, there's a small gap. There's no way the turret's gonna shoot through that. Guess what happened? The turret shot through that. Never... Don't... You can't... You can't, like, fucking just... You, you gotta be careful. This game ain't fucking around. I don't think you can see me from up here. There.
How many frames have I dropped? None. Oh, oh. Ooh, I, I don't like how it was looking at me. We've seen a lot of Beretta action during this run, by the way. There are a bunch of other weapons, including the Yeet Cannon. <laughs> no, really, it's called the Yeet Cannon. I'm not joking. It's the high, it's the high point. Because, you know, the high point of my day <laughs> is the Yeet Cannon. Where did you come from, fucker? By, by the way, the idea was to play this game, like, to the finish. I didn't, I didn't have anything else planned. And I figured trying to beat this game would take up a lot of time anyway. God, just that, that was silhouette thing throws me off every time. I don't like this. Um, I'm going to try to come down below if I can. Anything in here? Again? Let me, let me listen to this. Exactly when did it happen? Killed by glass. Did it say that? Because I'm pretty sure the falling damage is what killed me. I can't get past this fucking level! I don't, I don't- I don't hear it. I don't hear it. It said you were killed by falling glass. Yeah, see, I was face palming. I didn't see that. But that- but that- that, that doesn't make sense. I've never- that's never happened to me before! Get killed by falling glass? Like, what the fuck? Uh. Just get, just pull- pull weapon on self. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is! The high point 9mm. So anyway, I'm, I'm I don't Okay, what did I say the moment the crest happened this time, Tech? Crispy pancakes was right before you die. Thank you. I don't- I, I don't hear it in the recording. It's a Windows problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get it! <laughs> Fuck. That is gonna be way harder to solve. Watch, I can make the drone disappear. Bleep, beep, bleep, 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 bleep. Wait, hold on. Bleep, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Maybe not Windows, but those dig <laughs> shitty digital audio boxes. I might just bite the bolt and go back to the analog audio. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, you're gonna hear some hiss, but you know what? Who cares? I- it's part of the experience. I'm just gonna do what Joel does and say, no, nah, it's- it's- it's part of the experience, lol. It's part of the experience. I'm not gonna fix shit. Fuck you. Why should I be held responsible for my crappy audio? <laughs> God 
Guys, I don't think I can, I don't think I can keep playing this game. I'm getting like way too. Uh, what happened? Okay. Okay. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> what? Oh, All right, of bullets. So yeah, this is called the Eat Cannon, the High Point Nine Millimeter. It's called the Eat Cannon because uh, they held a contest to choose a new name, and uh, that's the name they point. That's the name they, they gave it. Where is this? They had a note for it. Let me find it. Where was it? Oh, it's under help. Guns. Here we go. Uh, let me go. High point nine millimeter. Yeah. See, high point nine. Mi high point model C nine Yeet cannon. Capacity is eight point one nine by nineteen NATO. Okay. It doesn't explain how I got the name, but yeah, it's called the Yeet cannon. <laughs> Again, the internet is a fun place. And just like the Glock. It does not have a hammer, however, it does have a safety switch. It also has no slide lock, or slide release. Which makes it hard to mess with the slide. Yeah, okay. Oh god, that's in that location again. Oh, fuck me, man. You know... I could probably d disable it with one really good shot. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, calm down. What the fuck? Ah oh boy, it's been a while since I've been in this situation. <laughs> I am completely out of ammo. Oh, the bolt went right through there. Yeah, bolts can go through things. Like, watch. I'll trigger it again. For God's sake. This is what happens when we... Oh, uh, you know what? I'm, kill me. It's fine. It's... This is not a game you can play while I'm frustrated. I'm, I, I might have to take a break and... Relax. The Model 10, nice. Alright, alright. Kind of fucking around. Revolvers are way easier than the pistols. They don't hold as many bullets. However, there's a lot less chances to shoot yourself in the dick. Because, again, they're double action. If you don't know what a double action means, it means... You know, how many actions the trigger can do. So, normally, for a single-action revolver, you have to pull the hammer back with every shot. Double actions, you can, you know, just pulling the trigger back can also cock the gun and fire. This is just, you know, showing off my gun knowledge, don't mind me. You know, the game's all about that shit, might as well, you know, do it. What the fuck? I just walked in here and I just start hearing whirring noises all around me and it, it's making me extremely paranoid. You know, I was wondering too, because remember when I updated Windows, I was thinking Boy, I hope this doesn't fuck with my audio boxes. I guess it did, but not quite in the way I was expecting. Ah, oh, good. And the game's the game's doing that now. All right, fine, going back up. I hear the roaring. Oh, there's a drone here. Fantastic. Oh, I see ya, little shit. Okay, careful now. Come on now. 
course, that's a problem. A gun like this. I'm sorry, how many bullets did that take? Don't answer that, the answer is too many. God's sake. Oh. Oh. It's a fun place to be. <laughs> okay. Oof. Oh, man. Where the fuck... Oh, there you are. <laughs> nope. Can't see me. There we go. Usually hitting it in that spot kills it because that's where the battery is. Like, see... Uh, you know... Each of these, you know, kill drones, including the turrets, they all have different weaknesses. You shoot the camera to take them out, you shoot the ammo box to disable them as well. At the back, there's a battery and a motor as well. The fucking drones have that battery too. I can't tell. That's gotta be a game mechanic, is just, like, sometimes, like, the bull just goes wherever it wants to. Again, the game did acknowledge this. It's called Murphy's Law. Or, like, Bullshit Law. Got him. Oh, I'm fine. I just need a moment. You can understand, right? Well, this game would be a little stressful. What are you aiming at? You know what? Oh, hello. How you doing up there? Oh. Huh. Found the turret. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Fun fact, you can actually, like, physically hear the kill drone or the turret eh, load its weapon. Nope. Yeah. I need to go another route. Otherwise I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fucked. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get turned into swin Swiss cheese. I will be filled with Swiss cheese once again. I think what I was trying to say in that sentence, but I didn't get it out correctly, was you'll be turned into Swiss cheese or You'll be filled with enough bullets to become Swiss cheese. I think I was trying to go for that angle, but I didn't say all the words. I don't know. I just love the idea of just you're getting shot by Swiss cheese. And it's deliciously lethal. Fuck, now I want Swiss cheese. God damn it! How wobbly it is. Oh, fun fact, uh, th uh there's gravity. <laughs> just like, never look up while trying to reload or, or, or this just happens. It, oh, it, uh, uh, uh. Mm. At least also you could spin the, the, the cylinder with the mouse. Yeah, just unlock it. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Maximum power! There's no, no reason to do that. There's, you don't get tactical benefits from, by, by spilling the cylinder at, at 10,000 RPM, but uh, it's fun to watch. <laughs> uh, I hear a drone. Oh, this game puts you on edge, man. I really need to take that turn and turn out. Let me, let me try. Let me try going down this way.
So general rule of thumb, you don't want to sprint everywhere. Like, drones and turrets aren't like... It's, they don't hear. They're just they're purely visual. Really, it's rather, you know, unless you know a room is clear, you're just sprinting around, you're gonna get caught in, like, some sort of, like, fun situation where... You, yeah. You won't be able to see danger until it's too late. Speaking of... Ah! You... You bitch. <laughs> God, I love when that happens. I also love how, like, you know, the screen blackens out, like, every time you take a shot. Which is to simulate the inexperience from firing a weapon. Because, yeah, no, like, when you're first shooting a weapon, like... The first time, it might not happen. But the second time, your body will be more in anticipation of the shock from, like, firing. I don't think if you ever fired a real-life firearm, they're really loud and they kick... ...in a way you don't expect them to, you know? So yeah, your body will naturally flinch. I, I like how the game actually like incorporates that. Which is great because if you have like the Glock and you just put it into full auto mode, the, s the screen just blackens because <laughs> it's, it's overlaying the effect a little too much. Nope. Ah, gotcha, bitch. You don't need to like pull the hammer back for every shot, but I like doing it because A, it's cool, and B, I th think it makes it more accurate. Because, you know, there's less travel time. I mean, I mean that's how it is in real life. I mean, the gun simulation games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did take <clears throat> the ammo box out, but it's as sketchy as all hell, man. I don't like it. Forgive it. Yeah, I can't go down that way because it's closed off. <laughs> hey, is it hot in here or is it me? I know the city's on fire, but... Jesus. Sweating like crazy. No. Oh, no. Whew, oh, my God. It's hot in Topeka. Why do we remember that? Out of everything from that fucking show, that's, like, one of the most memorable, like, the only memorable thing about it. Complete miss. That and the time Frankie flecked blue, but yeah, but that was you know the the, the parody porn co cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I watched that way too much. It was just I love the juxtaposition of it because it doesn't just cut in at the beginning. No, it cuts in like halfway. It's just like zero to sixty. It's just like blue is just balls deep, like instantly, and it's just like what the fuck. It's just the funniest fucking thing. I wish I could show it on stream. <laughs> Some of you aren't, aren't gonna know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. Ah, fuck. I should, I should really just stop trying to take pot shots at this fucking thing. I'm going down at another level. Yes, there could be turrets down here too. Again, I, I've run into that situation. Just taking a quick look around. Great, now that's all I can think about. Oh, for fuck's sake! 
great. Yeah, I remember watching like a the Foster's Home. Uh, it was an all right show, but I don't know. I thought Powerpuff Girls was way better. Did Craig even have a hand in that show, or was it just Faust? Oh, got it. They are married. Huh. Sentry down! Oh, thank God. A tape. Mind tech is a system. Built into this system is the ability to grow, change, and reproduce. What? The threat is a similar system, grown unimaginably complex. Now, unlike the threat, our mind tech requires receivers to exist. The mind tech system exists to help receivers, but receivers also exist to help mind tech. Where is this turret? Upon awakening, humans and mind tech, like the mind and the body, will become one. This is what the system was created for, to uplift you. Given enough time, humans may have adapted on their own. They may have awakened without our intervention. Unfortunately, the threat has forced our hand. But by, by the way, you never learn who is really like leaving these tapes. Don't again. Don't worry too much about the plot. Oh man. And I hear another tape nearby. So already this run is uh, doing all right. Although I don't have a flashlight, which is a problem. Okay, no tapes up here. Deagle, why did you have to mention that cartoon? That's all I can think about now. I ain't talking about just Foster's either. I'm talking about you know the one. God damn it all. I, just, I, can't, I can't stop visualizing it. It makes me giggle. Oh, it's just... I hate how there's tapes, like, under things like this. While Colt won most of the U.S. military contracts, the Smith & Wesson Model 10 remained the weapon of choice for U.S. police forces until the 70s, when they switched to high-capacity Wonder 9 pistols. The Model 10 did win a few U.S. military contracts, including Gun history. the Air Force, Coast Guard, and Navy. In World War II, air crews used the Model 10 revolver both for self-defense and for uh, emergency signaling with tracer rounds. In the what? 20s, police were facing significant resistance by prohibition gangsters and found that the 38 long Colt round just wasn't strong enough. Smith and Wesson started rechambering their Model 10s for the slightly more powerful 38 Special cartridge, but the converted models were not quite right, and uh, fired cartridges had a tendency to get stuck from the increased pressure and slow down reloading. Now that is true, actually, and you'll see that multiple times. Like, like whenever I reload this weapon, is some of the expend cartridges will just get stuck in the uh, the chambers. That happens in real life, too. Huh? Oh, for... F Again, I... Ceiling turrets. Why? Also, don't ask why the turrets are dropping bullets every time I, 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 sh I kill one. And if you... Haven't noticed that fact by now, um... Hi! Hi, welcome to Sam's Podcast, where uh, you hear a lot of gun sounds and then me occasionally talking. Uh, today's episode is a frustration, anger management, and how I am just not going to bother with either one of those. Because the stream will be a lot funnier if I'm just a, an asshole. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Ah, shut up!
Really, d disabling like a turret is a great way to test how far they can see. Nah. God, they just... I can't leave them like that. Th what? What do you mean? Is it because I moved the mouse? Like, I, I'm gonna have to watch that footage later. And f uh oh. Oh no. Oh boy. I hear a security camera. Yeah, I, I think normally security cameras originally only appeared in level 4. I mean, 5. So, if I can pull this off, I, I want to show you guys something. Something really funny. Whoop, no, he's, he's gonna look the other way now. I have to take a really good shot and shoot the taser. There. Oh no! Oh shit! Here he comes! Oh god! Oh god, here he comes! Oh no! Um. Oh god, it's stuck. Oh, there he goes. So yeah. He, just like the turrets, he is now disabled. However, <laughs> he is still flying around you, unable to do any damage. Because again, I shot the fucking taser. Oh, I love doing this. Okay, I swear these, these noises weren't originally this jank. I don't remember it getting caught on things either. Guys, I, I think you, you bugged the game up when you updated. No, come here. Oh god, how am I gonna disable you now? Okay, stay put. No! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's like trying to catch a fly. Get back here. No, just... Oh, my God. Down, boy! Down, I say! Good boy. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Oh, hello. I see you. Oh, I had a shot. I didn't think I would be able to make it, though. There are turrets outside as well. You know, I could I could make a, a relevant political joke, but I'm... I, no, no, uh -uh, no. No, I, I specifically ban political shit from my channel. None of that. Yeah, I have changed the rules, by the way, in the chat. You know. Not that anyone's gonna read them, but... At least, you know, I could tell people to, to look at the rules if I time anyone out. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Oh, it just plowed right through the glass, did it? Yeah, they'll do that. Where did it come out of? Where did it go? Where did it go? Cotton show. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a very slow game. You can't rush it. You can't... I mean, you've already seen what happens if you just try to fuck too much. But you can't just sit idly either. You gotta make decisions. You gotta go for it sometimes. You know, big risk reward sort of shit. Where's that turret? I know he's around here. There you are. Hmm. Where'd he go? Like, like you can destroy the shielding on a turret and then have it like ram itself into a wall, killing itself. That is a strategy. However, that's really risky to be doing. For fuck. Yeah, see? Bull doesn't always eject. For fuck. 
I need to disable that security camera. Right, come on. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, it saw me. Yep, yep, good. Yep, fantastic. Yeah, goody. <laughs> So every drone in that room heard me at once and tried to come at me. The one I shot before rammed itself into a wall and killed itself just like I said it would. Oh boy, all oh, access interior paint! Oh, fragility must be Italian. All right. That bolt must have gotten right around it. Okay, there it's down. Fuck. I hate not being able to fill up the revolver, like it triggers me. I love how I hear two drones now in my left ear. God, it takes forever to break one of these. Oh, that's why. Oh, hold on. Are they choreographed? Are they in sync? Why are they in sync? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Man, I'm glad I, I decided to stream this game because like th shit like this just keeps happening. I've never seen this, but why are they in sync? They are perfectly choreographed. Spawn two instances of the same class. No! It... I don't think that's what I did. Oh my god, the noises. Hold on, can I hack them both at once? I'm not gonna get seen if I try this, right? Deterministic AI. Ah, I see. Die. Yeah, it's the die. And the die is cast. Oh, good. I can't hack it because it's too far up there. God damn it all. Oh, get down here. Uncock the fucking... Ah, ah deal with it. You know what, I think this is what I think. Can't tell if there's a turret up there or. I haven't been in the hospital in, in area in this fucking stream yet, have I? There is a lot of areas actually. Yeah. Got him. I do like how you can hear when you hit something. Like... Like, even though we're far away, like, you can still, like, hear... ...the sound of the, uh, of the drone breaking apart from, from distance. That, that, that's a... That's a mechanic. Uh-huh. What's this? Oh, fuck it, security camera. And it's on me. Ah! Negligent discard mechanic, our favorite! <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. Oh, this is one of those rooms I was talking about. Well, watch what happens when I, like, holster the weapon. It only does this on this carpet. Do you see the trails? What the hell's going on here? Why did this happen? Only on this carpet. The fuck is going on? Like, watch, I'll prove it. Look, nothing on the bed. But on the carpet, it does it. The fuck is this rendering? What is this carpet? Three bullets left. It's gonna see me. Yep, it saw me. Don't don't go off, please. Don't go. It went off. Oh 
Oh my. What the fuck did I just set off? I still can't get down. Get down! I'm not gonna lie, I'm between a rock and a hard place right now. This is not good. Oh, it's right there. Fun fact, the turrets will try to follow a straight line to where it heard the noise of, you know, like, the security alarm. So, uh, it's, it's very possible that, like, you could set a security off, like, a security camera off, and the, the drones will just, like, plow into the floor trying to get to where it heard it. And, uh, far. Yeah, okay, so there is more than one turret drone around here. It doesn't see me from here, but I'll take it. Bullets! I need bullets. Here's the problem with fighting drones. They don't drop ammo. So I'm am running out of ammo. I can't take this. Oh, for God's sake! Existence anymore. There's no point to anything. We're just killing time until the heat death of the universe. Here we go, guys. Nobody will oh, remember no. us. Nobody cares if, if, if I live or die. All of humanity is just mold on an orange. I don't even know why I'm writing this. The voice of the Goodbye. threat is taking control. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Cycle through all six chambers. There we go. So that was a threat echo, and then they give you a threat recovery, which tells tells you their story. Jen had been told her whole life that science proves that everything is random, and humans are insignificant accidents, uh, tiny motes of consciousness in a in a cold, endless sea of hard vacuum. After she was rejected by her first, so yeah. If I didn't empty the, the bullets, backup, I would have the threat shot tried myself. to kill her with a razor blade. What a fun While mechanic! The scars healed. She learned the hidden truth. While science allows us to manipulate our world of shadows in reality B, it tells us nothing about our core existence in reality A. Just as atoms combine to form molecules, and, and molecules combine to form cells, and neurons combine to form your mind, our minds that. combine to form humanity, and humanity combines to form the highest concentration of information in the known universe. In reality, A, we are all part of the same radiant tapestry. That is where our true meaning lies. Now, Jen eventually found her calling as a psychologist, specializing in the study and treatment of existential depression. So there's a whole bunch of those. But, uh, thankfully those threat echoes also count as tapes. So, we only have one more tape to go. So yeah, you have to like really be on, on the lookout for that. As soon as you hear like... Like... Depressed like ramblings... It's... The tone is always the same, by the way, for a Threat Echo. The best way to tell a Threat Echo is just to listen to how he's talking. I can't take this... Every single day is the worst day of my life. It's pretty easy to, to see the pattern. This is my last will and testament. If he sounds depressed... Yeah, I tried to tell you. I tried to, to get support. Then it's a threat echo. Okay. By the way, this one's my favorite. Yeah, I tried. I really understand what you did to me and hate yourselves for it. See you in hell. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought of that too. Yep. Oh no! Ah, 
God, those fucking drones, it is... They have such a... long... I, I, their, their range is ridiculous! Oh, goody, now he's just parked there. Uh... Yeah. It sucks, too, because their light doesn't fully illuminate how far they can see. There, gone. See ya. This is a fun situation. Even though the door is blocked, I could still just jump over. That could end badly. When you wing you wing you wing you wish shut up! Oh my god. So annoying. Get up there. I love how the sound just randomly cuts out. Mm hmm Ah yes, I see. Yeah, okay. Eh, bye. G get out of here. I think it's because he's outside the room. So. Like, you only hear him in the same room that they're in. Which is weird. But whatever. There's more of those things, too. <laughs> I hear a tape. Oh my god, I'm almost done. Almost done. This is, this is not the last level, but... I'm almost done with this level, anyway. Okay. I love how proficient, like, you can get at reloading. If you take the time. And just learn how to do it. It's... Through muscle, man. I, I love games like this, too. Where... The mechanics are simple, but... You know... Complex at the same. It's easy to pick up, high with a high s skill ceiling. I, I, I kind of like shit like that. So, so yeah, it takes a while to learn the controls, but once you got them, then you're good. Are we done? We're done. All empirical evidence points to reality. Oh, thank God. With the Big Bang, but what caused the Big Bang? Oh, look at that now cube it map. Can't have an external oh, cause because baby. reality is the set of all things. There cannot be you couldn't have made that good. more than like 15 now, if God pixels. Is real, even he is part of reality. Ah, what I think. Really good grass flaking. The thunder, by the way. Explanation is that reality is a logical tautology, uh, the cause of itself. What can you think of? What? 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 Guys, I don't think I've heard that tape before, because I don't remember that. Alright, so, here we go, the final rank. Awake. Alright, so, so... We only have three tapes to listen to here. Oh. Oh, good, the sixth hour. Now, I should mention, normally, I'm... Okay, I've not been entirely truthful to you guys. I have modded this game a little because it's easy to do so. You just open up the some of the files in a text editor. So I've modded the game to have the last le level be, uh, use any weapon, but by default, the last level is supposed to always use the SIG, uh, the single action on not the SIG, the single action army. So I'm gonna do that. Hold on. I believe it's Gimme Gun Nine allows me to switch to it. There we go. So let's do this. This is it, last level. <laughs> this is a hell of a weapon. With, like, the most, in, like, long and arduous reload. It's it's a revolver, yes, but not in the traditional sense. You can't swing the cylinder out, you have to half-cock. Then you swing the chambers. You can hold V to pull the lever down. Then push Z to put the bolt in, and you have to do that. For every single bullet. There is no easier way to do this. And also, it is a single action, which is why they call it the SAA. Meaning, you have to pull the hammer back after every shot. The hardest weapon in the game, but man, you feel like a badass if you can pull it off. But if you don't feel like doing it, you can also just fan the weapon, and I'll show you what that is later. 
See, what you should have done is replaced all the sounds with Eddie and Eddie sounds. Right, except the sounds aren't out in the open, they're in a packed folder and I didn't feel like fucking with that. See, the files I edited were just out in the open. <laughs> so. By the way, you notice at like level 5, the city's no longer on fire, it's... You hear this calming music and it looks like the sun's coming up. But there's still Brapcast everywhere, so... I mean, you're not safe yet. It's hard to see, but I love the firing pin. It's just, it, it looks like a spike. Hold on, can I, uh... Let me just, uh... Yeah, let me, uh... Let me enable inspect mode here. There we go. Look at... Oh, I just love the detail of these weapons. Look, it even has, like, the fucking serial numbers on it and everything. You can see the springs, for God's sake. By the way, I have tried. You can't shoot yourself in this mode. The bolts don't go exactly where you think they're going. Anyway. <laughs> I love how the firing pin is just a big spike. <laughs> That's wonderful. Brap gas. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't help it. There we go. Let me, uh, let me just uh, do that again. Let me see that menu you pulled down again. Yeah, I know, Tech. There's a lot of stuff on here. <laughs> you can disable enemies. Disable events, god mode, infinite enable, no clip, invisible, x-ray items, perfectly stable hands, simulate low frame rate, there's a bunch of shit. I will play with this later. Let me beat the game first. Okay, so you can control drones, by the way. Okay, so you can control the drone and then shoot yourself with said drone. It's humorous. Nice, it's imgooey. Oh, nice. Y yeah, it's, it's probably just stock, stock shit. By the way, there is a hidden, uh, firing range you can only go to in this mode. Debug mode, I mean. Yeah, fuck. There's a drone flying around, I saw it. So in this last stretch, there's gonna be mostly drones. You won't see too many kill turrets. Oof. Gotcha. However... There is a lot of drones, and a lot of those things. Goddamn security cameras. That's a GUI library that Dolphin also uses. Oh, okay, I thought I thought Unity just used it by default. I mean, I recognized it from Dolphin, yeah, but I thought it was just like a, I don't know. Look at how detailed the fucking hammer is. It is a nice GUI. I mean, well, if you're gonna debug, you might as well do it right, right? So I'm not gonna be able to get away with, uh, without alerting one of these things. So, let me just... <sighs> Alright, man, let's just shut you up. Bring! God damn it, I hate these! Why do they take so long? Oh my god. Sweet silence. Hold on, was I setting a drone off? Or was that the security alarm? Shutting down, I can't tell. Ah, yeah, I love that discharge mechanic. So anyway, here's how you reload. Fuck, I, I've already fucked it up. There. Yeah. Pretty simple. Is that as loud for me as it is for you? Probably not. Because, like, don't forget, like, I've got this thing, like, limited on OBS. Like, you guys aren't getting the full power that I am. <laughs> Louder! Yeah, okay. Of course, me screaming probably doesn't help either. Seriously, why does this take so long? <laughs> 
So, yeah, these last three tapes are, uh... Are, um... Uh, are, are weird. You're, you're not gonna believe the game goes in this fucking direction, but it does. And it's strange. It's a traveling drone. Ah, fuck. I, I might have to show you the fan technique technique early. Oh, there he is. Ooh, you fucker. Piss off. Piss off now. Be a good little boy. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. No. Oh, I hate it how they patrol. Nope, that's fucked. I refuse. I'm going a different way. <laughs> Ah, yes, the arcade looks fun. The worst, the worst patrolling, the worst patrolling drones are the ones where they're outside the building. Because then you have to shoot through glass, and, and yes, shooting through glass does in fact affect the projectile. Which is lovely. I looked at that over there and I thought it was a fucking drone. I shit my pants. And speaking of. They're all patrolling drones. Every one of them. I'm being... being surrounded by dronage. I uh, might be able to... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it. I was gonna try to get up there, but... Eh. If I miss, <laughs> that's it. Excuse me. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot through chain link without a problem. However, it uh, really the biggest thing is the, is the obscuration of your vision. Up, up, uh, obscuring. I. What I said wasn't a word. Indestructible chain link. Well, you shoot through the chain link, but like the game, where the game is, you know. <laughs> right. Nope, that it didn't did not need to happen. Let out. What are you doing? Obscuration is a word. Right, but does it mean what I was meaning for it to mean, as in an, an obstruction? I don't know, it just it didn't sound right in my head. The action of hiding or concealing. So, so I was right. Why am I second guessing myself? What the fuck? All oh, right, because you chuckle fucks. <laughs> uh. Concealment of one celestial body in the passage of another, between it and the observer. Well, I, okay, that, that second one isn't really a 
that's appropriate here, but... Yeah, there you are. Fuck me. Fun fact, we're shooting some 44s with, with this son of a bitch. That's, uh, that's a pretty big bullet to come out of a small gun. So we're not as powerful as the Desert Eagle, but yeah, this is like the second most powerful gun in the game. Hey, guys. Oh. You, what the fuck? Okay, that time, no, that was not my fault. It just randomly, like, didn't. There's a specific shot in the chat log that said, oh yeah, we solved the whole hacking mechanic just randomly not working thing, and oh, I don't know, man, I think you might have fucked up. See me vault over that shit? Did it, did it fuck off? I can't tell. By the way, if you never heard of fanning before, basically, uh, the way this is done is the gun fires whenever the firing pin hits the primer, right? That's how these, that's how bullets work. Well, in a gun like this, basically you can hold the trigger and just keep pulling the hammer back to continually fire. That's a thing you can do in this game as well. It's called fanning, and yes, it's not very accurate, but you feel like a badass doing it. And the way it's done is you just hold left click and you just keep pushing F, and uh... Yeah, it's fun. So, where did he go? Oh, that's where he went. Could try to guess and shoot through the cardboard, but yeah, I prefer a straighter shot. So yes, shooting a 44 out of a 44 Ford with four years and four of the fl God damn it, Tech. <laughs> These guns sounds kind of turned me on. The, 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 the metallic clanks. Oh, I know. That's part of the reason why I think I love this game is just all of, like, the... They made sure, like, you got the full experience, and that includes all the mechanical parts. Guns are very complex machines. Let me try that again. Guns are very complex machines, actually. So you hear, like, every bits and pieces of, like, their- their movement. Hello. <laughs> goodbye. God, I love that. Whoa! Where- where is that one coming from? Huh? Really? What? What the fuck? There's a drone outside, and- did Got something in my pocket, but you're gonna look out in there and see what it is. Yeah, um, after I beat the game, I'll, I'll, I'll play the game in, like, the firing range, and I'll enable inspect mode, and we'll just look at all the weapons. Like, I've shown off a couple of them, but I mean, like, every one of them. Mm -hmm. Smash through the glass, maybe? Shit and cum? <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I say that? <laughs> Shit plus chemical shum. Oh, no. Do not. <sighs> Second time now. They were rhymes with bums. Game gave me indigestion. about me eating these like candy. Trust me, they're not tasty. I specifically bought the shitty kind on purpose. 
I walked it down. <coughs> oh my god, that's horrible. I know it's medicine, but Jesus. Shum's Festival. The new tasty, the new shitty, cummy snack. God damn it. I gotta stop reading these. There you are, I see you. Oh, for God's sakes, it's 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 out there just running around like a dickhead. Why? What, why buy the shitty brain so I don't eat them like candy? <laughs> That's why, because if it tasted good, I, I'd be tempted to... Oh boy, hi! Lack of self-control is why I got as heavy as I did in the first place, you know. Forgot I, I recently bought like a the, like a little bottle of Tic Tacs that I ate like I, I ate them in like a week, and this was like the hundred count. <laughs> Cummy shummies, you invented a new word. Oh, good! Sam's gaming show got his first big meme. We well, see, I just killed it by by mentioning it. Oh wow, it went flying! Holy fuck! I like how the camera, like, zooms out. Like, it- because you can't shoot. And the game even tells you what to do if you're, like, confused, like, Why well, won't it shoot?! Oh my god! You push F. Oh, okay. Ah. Tip 5 on, on being a successful streamer. Don't burp into the mic constantly. However, they're suggestions, not rules. Oops. Nope. Wanna see something funny? <laughs> there you go. Now watch me just insert all those bullets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. I like how they just fly into your face. It's just like, I'm gonna pick up a bullet now, okay. So what happened to that turret? Turret. Yeah, turret. Oh my god, it's over there. Look. <laughs> it's on the roof of that building. Oh, man. Man, fuck the high point. This should be called the Eat Cannon. Actually, I, I think that would go to the Desert Eagle. That's the real Eat Cannon, right? Is that a ceiling? No, that's a... Fuck. Security camera. Guys, I have to piss. Oh, hey, look, it's... it's Polybius. I think there's subliminal messaging. Yeah, look, look, there's subliminal messaging included. Cool. Ooh, oh, ba ooh, oh, ah, yeah, I see. This... this is a fun little Easter egg. I, I can't tell what it's saying, but if you, like, slow this footage down, you, you can tell. And, like, make a clip or something, and then, like, watch it at, like, 0.5 speed. Plibius, give up, cummies, shummies. Uh Damn it, we we broke it. <laughs> nah, I just why are you allowed to do that? Like... <laughs> I gotta pull my nose, so I'm actually gonna mute the mic for this one. <laughs> Trust me, you didn't want to hear that one. I... I... The first... I, I remember the, like... I, I actually tried to use the, one of the arcade machines, like, what do you mean, interact? Oh, I can play it, and then I hit it, and the screen just cracks. I'm like, why? Like, why does this happen? Ew, hello. Oh! Okay, I- he- it's- he's not disabled? It's not disabled, but it's still very much alive. Um... I think I just cut him in half. Oh. 
What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck? What? It's that one from earlier! It's still out there! Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 I thought I killed him! You, I, it went flying! What do you mean? I love the music in the stage. By the way, like, new, 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 new. I feel like I'm about to sing meow mix. Did I take him out this time? For fuck's sake! There. No. Oh fuck it. Damn it! No. Mm. God, it, it's almost easier just to like only like eject like the cartridges when they're spent. Rather than like ensuring a full reload. That's a security camera, isn't it? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna do something really risky. Like, this could fuck me up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Guys, ready to see CBT? <laughs> yeah, come get some bitches! It's broken. Like, it's having legitimate trouble flying because it's it's just snapped in half. Okay, then. I, I want to get in there. Like, look, the camera's not even pointing the right way. Not just pointing at the ceiling. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's going to turn around and see me. Hold on. Oh, shit. I kind of wanted to because I want to see it fly around in circles like an asshole. This is, this is what I mean, like, I love how, like, the, the the destruction mechanics in this game are wonderful. You just do shit like this. It saw me. Alright, I, I better run. Uh, yep. It's flying around like an asshole. No! Damn it! It's looking for me. It's having a lot of trouble navigating. <laughs> because it, eh, the poor fucking thing. While running, I tried to, like, pull my gun out. And I just brought up the steam overlay. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Look somewhere else, damn it. Even when snapped in half, it does a really it does a really good job of guarding. Oh. I mean, this is just fucking sad. Ah. Ah. Uh. What? Why does it sound like that? Guys, there's something really wrong with this turret. I'm just gonna put it out of his misery. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Good night. That's why I changed my steam to shift plus F11. Uh, I hate that thing. Yeah? Oh. oh I hear a tape. Oop, there it is. This is the first insight. You're not gonna believe this shit. In order to fully awaken, you must accept it. Now, these tapes are always the same. You always get the same three. So. Until now, you thought you were playing a game. That you could turn it off. Now, this idea has been implanted by the threat. In fact, the threat has expanded to the reality outside of the game. We call this Reality C. The what? threat has been influencing what you see and hear until you can't tell what is fictional and, and what is real. This is the first of three insights. After you accept the third insight, you will hear a tone and you will awaken. Oh. 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 
This is a Metal Gear Solid 2 shit right there. Turn the game off, Raiden. Time to go to sleep! Oh, that hurts! Oh. God. I need scissors. 61. But no, you'll see what it means in a bit. It's... Remember earlier when I said the game's got a little bit of that artsy-fartsy shit in it? Yeah, it's probably not the right term, and I'm being really disingenuous. I don't know. No. Hold on. Can you even... Can you even, like, call anything? If a drone blind blindsides me right now, I'm gonna, like, piss my, my soul. Did you even hear what I was saying? Oh. The, the, okay, so some did hear me. I think that was... That keeps fucking me up. I keep hearing the beep. It's just the security system. You know, fuck all these, just... Except that one, that was cool. Time to eat ass! Wet robot dreams, yeah, okay. Why is this in the game now? Wait, did Wolf Fire make Wet Robot Dreams? Can one of you look that up? Yeah, Wolf Fire. Wolf Fire. They also made this game. Oh, there we go. Insight 2. If you have accepted that the threat is real, there is hope that you can hear Insight 2 and awaken to your true nature. Reality A transcends and overlaps realities B and C. Uh, this is how the threat has spread to all aspects of reality. Uh, accepting that the threat is real in the world outside the game may seem difficult because through an inversion of values, the threat has led you to believe that reality C is more real than reality A. This is how it subverts your defenses and attacks you where you are vulnerable. To awaken, you have to accept that Reality A expands beyond your life outside of the game. Open your mind's eye and you can see it. Shut this up. Okay. luminous reality is where you have constructed the mind tech you need to defend yourself and combat the threat. Only the final insight remains. Once you accept it, you will hear a tone, and you will awaken. So you get that? <clears throat> huh. It's a balloon out there, but... Okay. They're just a shadow, no? Interesting. Alright. I mean, they're all indie devs, so why not? Why that game in particular, though? <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. What? <laughs> what? I mean, I'm down, I'll play it, but, eh. Guys, I'm, I'm so upset the PS3 didn't didn't come through, because I was going to play Sonic 06 on stream. And I, I'm not joking about that either. I, you want to see the cart? I mean, do you want to see the box? I got it. I bought it. <laughs> I bought it for ten bucks. the only bolt I expended. I, I probably shouldn't have said that. Of course, for the stream, for people watching this, you know, and whatnot, I bought a PlayStation 3, mostly to stream some of the games that aren't ported yet, including Sonic 06, Red Dead Redemption, and some other games. It was also a nice way to play Kingdom Hearts. And then I just wanted a PS3, why not? I can hack that shit wide open. 
I get it to my house and it just breaks down. Fucking thing just won't read discs, it won't connect to the damn controller. So, so now I've got a bunch of games which I have ripped, so I got them in my system. But the emulator doesn't really work with them. So. Oh, I think I've been here. Now this is sketchy as fuck. No, oh, you know, no. I'm not. I don't play that game. Okay, I definitely don't think I've been here. We have one take to go, and then the game is beaten. Yeah, I'm not joking. And this will be the time to get fucked. Ah, yes. F fuck yeah, it's the end. Here we go. If you accept that the threat is real and that reality A is Must the be true fan? reality, then you are ready for the final. Yeah. We have sent you this message to warn and prepare you, and you have listened. In reality C, you have sat in your chair at your computer, yet in reality A, your astral has overcome many challenges. Open your mind's eye to see the mind tech you have built. They are heavy and intricate with each component perfectly formed and in its right place. Functional, resilient. You stand ready to use these tools against the threat. In order to awaken, you have to accept this final insight. These struggles in Reality A are real and have fully prepared you. Reality the game is real! has been this message. This message was a systemic process. This process was an initiation. You have completed this initiation. You are now a receiver. And the game closes. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh. So I'm not, I, I still don't entirely know what the fuck that ending's about. It's like, it, I guess it's trying to tell you, like, the threat is real and you should watch out for it. And given, like, all the references to, like, media, how media is bad, how media can corrupt your mind, I'm like, yeah, I kind of already figured that out a while ago. Thank you. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of real, isn't it? They're not lying. <laughs> So, you know, I think I know what the threat is, guys, but I can't say it on Twitch because, you know, they'll ban me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was Receiver 2. I love the game. Yeah, the game just goes, K, thanks, bye. So, and yeah, the, as, I, as I said before, Tech, the screen blacks out because it's meant to simulate you flinching every time you take a shot. But if you do it in rapid succession, the game just goes black. So yeah, we beat the game, but uh, that doesn't mean we can't keep playing. Oh, goody. Yeah, give me the Glock. Glock me up, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. So what we're gonna do here is enable debug mode and have some fun. Alright, so first, let's take a look at the at this baby. Yeah, I see. Yeah. You know, I can actually tell that it's not loaded in this. Let me just slap that in. Alright. Okay. Look, it even simulates how the, uh, how the handle, like, moves like that. Here, let's see what causes that. Yeah, see? As you can see, it moves. Because it, it actually just moves. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay, so that's how the firing pin works. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so... So what is this control? Oh, I, I think I see how that goes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so fucking cool. So wait, this is full auto. Uh, if you thought the screen went black before, you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. 
You haven't seen anything. Let's uh, let's load into the uh, shooting range, actually. Yeah, so this is the hidden shooting range. Uh, stock up on 9mm. Sit stock up on... Oh, crap, I think I... Actually, I have to pick up the weapon first. Uh, which one's the Glock? Okay, there's your revolvers, the Desert Eagle. There's the Glock. There we go. And I, th I, th I think this is part of the reason why they didn't want you to have uh, steam steam stuff. But, uh... So this is why you don't use full auto with the Glock. I hate this weapon. <laughs> Alright! Let's see how many bullets hit. I, I shot everything but the target. I got one hit on the target, and it shot everything else. Look, there's bullets up here, there's bullets there, there's bullets all around it. Oh my god! I didn't even use the whole magazine. Still haven't used the whole magazine. Holy shit! Oh, double feed. This is what's called a, a double feed. How you clear this, you, you hold the slide back. Pull this out. Rack the slide a few times. Put a new one in. Reload. God, I hate this weapon. Come on. There you go. Alright, cool. Nice ammo box. Remember, this is all debugging shit, so well, hold on. How did those look from behind? Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, well, anyway, I'm just gonna drop this. Dr drop the weapon. Drop. Dr drop the... It's supposed to be a way to drop. Mm-hmm. Drop. Oh, holdy. All right. There we go. All right. How the hell is a Glock a full auto? I mean, yeah, it can be. Yeah, we could just like have fun playing with the guns. Man, the Beretta does hold a lot of fucking cartridges. Hmm, not too bad. I've I've looked at the the Beretta. Yeah, I don't entirely know how the the does that. Like the full auto pin is back here, and it moves that little thing there, and that does something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I guess the full auto ness of it is just because of the way the pin set. It just it, it enables, like, a return? I don't get it. Did I miss the ending? Yes, you did. He basically said, like, re the reality extends beyond the game. And all that shit. I wish there was a slow-mo, like, like part of this. So, so now I'm, like, I'm at the part where I'm just, like, playing around with the, uh, the bullets. Ah. Uh. God, I love how sexy the fucking... The 9-11. See, this is what I mean about trying to shoot myself? Can't do it. God, they really did meticulously, like... Hit, just... Oh my god, it, it looks great. Yeah, same thing with here, like the, uh... The actual, uh, slide moves the, uh, the barrel back. I believe it helps on, uh, bullets, uh, the, the way the, the gun, uh, uh, for recoil, I mean, yeah. So, what else, uh, where's the Desert Eagle? Where's my favorite? Where's my bay? Ah, she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at this beast. Oh, my God. Look at the insignia on the fucking side of it. That is nuts. Yeah, let's take a look inside. Yeah, there she is. God, it's just so beefy. I like how the ejection is, like... 
Like, why is it shaped like that? It's so weird. So here's what the firing pin does, and as you can see... So, with the safety up, it detaches... You, you see how it hooks into the hammer? Yeah, so w with it unsafe, then it can pull that one part. With it off the, uh... Yeah, that is... You can actually learn how these guns work in this game. That's ridiculous. Desert Eagle Pistol. Made... Th th three USA? Oh. The gun is so big, it just clips through the fucking... Okay. By the way, yeah, the, the actual slide is not part of the uh, the entire housing. That's it. I'm doing it. 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 Ugh. God, it's so cool. Let's watch it fire like this. Is the force of the the gun like? Oh, good. I can't see the gun anymore. But fuck it, let's just keep going. Guys, where's the gun? I've lost the gun. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I know why. I know why that happens. Alright, where, where's the... Give me the ammo. Yeah, huh? Oh. Oh, good job, asshole. Wait, hold on. Un... It's unholster, but yes. Huh? I, I actually can't get more ammo. Eh, let me just do this. Oh, I actually need ammo in order to get the infinite ammo. Ah, fuck! These little boxes are supposed to give you ammo, but they don't now. I guess they broke that. Hmm. Yeah, features. Anyway. Let me drop this. It's never advisable to drop a gun in real life, by the way. I didn't actually show off the Sig Sauer. This is this is what the Sig Sauer looks like. This is what? The P226. Pretty fine weapon, actually. I love the little, like, uh, anchor on the side of the gun. Is, is that a fucking QR code? Oh, right, the Sig Sauer was unique, where uh, it has a decocking lever. Like, it doesn't have safety, per se, it just has, like, a decocking lever. It's also double action. Let's take a look inside. All right, okay, so, all right, so that's how that goes. All right, so how does this go? Oh, I see. Okay, I see how that works. Very nice. Cool. Where's the high point over there? <laughs> oh. Stove fight. Another stove fight. Holy shit! Yeah! Oh. You know, I completely forgot that I had infinite ammo on for a second. Alright. So here's the high point, and of course the high point is known as the workman's gun because it costs nothing and it looks like a cheap piece of shit. But trust me, this gun is one of the most dependable fucking things you've ever seen in your life. God lord is it ugly though! Why is this so fucking ugly? That's how that works. You can actually see the firing pin. Yep. That's neat. Like, look, the firing pin, like, it releases. It goes way over there to fire the actual weapon. That's it. I'm killing myself. I don't care. Ah. Just, just wanted to end. Fucking stove piping. Ah! Whoa! Look at the muzzle flash. Holy shit.
Do infant name with the Glock. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Oh god damn it, I just shot myself. Oh, oh I'm an old man. Oh. Pick it up. There you go. Oh baby. Okay, let me see. Uh, simulate. Uh, spawn debug with debug gun. Oh, I know what that is. Player, fail ammo kill win. Uh, here we go. Force failure. Uh. Hmm. I can't like force it to not have a failure. Why is a see-through gun a dose? I don't know. All right. Just is. It seems to have trouble, like, actually, uh, yeah. Holy fuck! Ah, uh, we don't need assault rifles! Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, this is a bit harder to clear. Fuck it, stop! Unreliable piece of shit! Ah! Oh, give me the good god! Just go! Oh! <laughs> yeah! That's some good catharsis right there! God damn it. <laughs> Fucking double feeds! By the way. By the way. If for whatever reason you don't feel like using a magazine, like, you know what? Fuck the magazine. Don't worry. You can still open the slide, push a Z to insert a bullet, let the slide go, and then keep shooting. Only works once, and then you have to, like, eject the round and put a new bullet in. But yeah, you can play the game that way. I wouldn't recommend feeding bullets directly into the chamber on a real gun, though. You're liable to get your finger pinched. <laughs> well, anyway, back to- ah! Yeah, baby. Oh. What? For for fuck's sake! Oh my god! Boy, let me tell you, I'm so glad I'm alone in this house right now. Holy shit! Yeah! Oh my god, I seriously, stop fucking jamming. Oof. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. How you doing? Let's have some fun. Oh my god, fucking jamming up my asshole! Yay, 13 seconds. Why is this so much fun? Stovepipes out the anus! Ah, fucking double feeding. Guys, I'm having way too much fun. Break the glasses. Oh. Guys, I think I found the like the, the full auto like method that actually works. Holy shit! Oh yeah! Oh god, god, just hit, hit the target! I can't hit anything like this! Oh my god! Ugh. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. It's, it's out of my system. It's out of my system. Or is it? <clears throat> oh yeah, that's the right magazine. Alright, uh... All right, are Glocks this unreliable? No, not. Remember, like the game like plays up the de the the malfunction mechanic. You know, 
because it's like, oh, like, the reality B is so, like, the Murphy's Law is in effect, like, guns are really unreliable. They're, they're way better than that, like, normally. That being said, I'm pretty sure putting an entire magazine through full auto is not only unrecommended, it's probably not good for the gun either due to over overheating concerns. Oh. Oh, good. Like, like e even my even the Desert Eagle's fucking malfunctioning up the, the hoo-ha. I'm just gonna start over. Yeah, five seconds. There. There is a way to, like... Oh, I missed that one. Oh my god. Come on. Easy on the aim there, Hawkeye. Eh. Could, could have done better. Okay. By the way, the game keeps track of every bullet you expend, so, uh... So that's a lot of glockage I just, I just spilled all over the ground here. Okay, I... Where did those bullets come from? <laughs> Look... <coughs> yeah, I turned that into Swiss cheese. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Let's see, let's see what else we can do in debug mode. Uh, let's see, spawn enemy drone patrol. All right, let's spawn it. Spawn it. Oh, did it, did it actually spawn? Control closest drone. No, it didn't actually spawn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually like load into the main game. There, we're getting the cult. <laughs> Now then, let's see here, spawn. Now there used to be more enemy types, like including ones that were cut. So, huh? it's not spawning the fucking thing. Spawn enemy, drone, spawn. Okay then, it it no, oh, it's working. It's working. Control closest drone. Yeah, here we go. Whoa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in. Look how pretty this game looks. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy, 50 seconds well spent. <laughs> how many can I spawn? Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, can we just check my phone here? Let's see here. Uh, they didn't quite have the, uh, the effect that I wanted. <laughs> Where are the rest of them? Eh. I, 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 I left click like a ton. Is there a limit? Hold on. Spawn drone. Patrolling. Turret. Armored. Yeah, just spawn a bunch of turrets. Let's spawn some ceiling turrets too, and spawn some security cameras. All the flashlights. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, the game's actually lagging a little bit. Okay, so I see what's going on. When, whenever you spawn something, it spawns it into a place where that... that entity can be. There, There's preset entity points where the uh, the spawn can happen. And we're, we're seeing all of them at once. I'm like, holy shit, this is impressive. Look at this fucking sweet rave disco party I've made. Fuck yeah! Also, like, the, 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 the giant pile of, uh, like, flashlights is wonderful as well. Anyway, let me just grab all those. 
or just one. And, ouch. Guys, I, I want to just enable God mode and just stand in the middle of this. I, I'm going to do that. Uh, God mode. Okay. There we go. Alright. Oh, baby! Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't see anything! Oh, what the fuck? Jesus tits! God damn fuck! <laughs> What's still following me? Fuck off! <laughs> Where's that debug gun? Let me get that going. Yeah, activate. Alright, here we go. So what the debug gun is supposed to do... Wait, what'd that say? Error. No tactics for gun with model debug. Oh, yeah, okay. Debug gun. A highlight bullet, highlight bullet, bit, draw pass, draw tracer. So what this does is it... it well, it debugs the, the gun. Where the bullet hits, how they ricochet, how they go through things. And it shows, it shows all this neat information. It's a really cool thing. It also has unlimited ammunition, so I can just do shit like this. Wait, hold on, can I, uh... No, that's not it. I love that. Holy shit. The way the bullets, like, ricochet is wonderful. Oh my! Okay, so... When I, when I click spawn a million times, it didn't just spawn, like, enemies in that one room, it spawned throughout the fucking area. Ow, oh, what the fuck? Get out of here. They're everywhere! Holy fuck! They're everywhere! There it goes. Oh my god. Every few seconds the music comes back. Yeah, it's just I'm just killing the sound engine. Hold on. Let's see if I can hit this uh this this this, this balloon with with, with with some ricochet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like really like Okay, a little bit. Why is this killing me the sound engine? I yeah, fuck it. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Ah, yes, you know, my favorite gun. Air. Air, unknown gun. Ah, yeah, thanks, game, for blowing my ears out. What the fuck? Guys, I, I think I'm, like, pushing this game to its limits, alright? How do I deactivate this? How do I deactivate this fucking thing? I know, let's simulate slow frame rate. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, the, you know, the cinematic experience. Ah, goody. No, wait, guys, it's it's the way it's meant to be played, you know. Everyone loves 5 FPS. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, turn that off, please. It's really hard to play the game here. It sounded fine here. Okay, it's probably because of the limiter, but the game like went like five million like fucking. It hit 4.0 like decibels on, on our door. Anyway, here's something I didn't say about the tapes. You can either pick them up or you can shoot them, and it gets added to your registrar. Yes, that's right. You can play this game by shooting all the tapes. Can't hear you over, Yoko. Okay, I don't think it's that loud. Well, look, 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 there's another one. I can just shoot it. You can just shoot the tapes. I don't know why that's a mechanic, but I ac I found it out accidentally one day. And I'm like, oh, you do that. I, just, I love the glass breaking shit. It's so fun. Hey, do you think uh, God Mode will protect you from falling damage? I guess not. You fell off of a tall building. Really? Oh, oh, good. The single action army. My favorite. Manifesting in bedroom. All right, let's see here. Debug. Uh, spawn item. Do we have uh, tapes? Can I, can I spawn tapes? Yeah. No. Really? Oh, round. Oh, just give me all the rounds, all right? Oh, baby. How many, uh, how many rounds can I actually spawn? You want to talk about game lagging? Oh, you're gonna get the game lagging of, of the century. Oh, it's, it's actually not, not lagging all that much. These bolts look really good, all things considered. Hmm, okay. What else can we do? Uh, all right, there's a no-clip mode. Let's try that. Right, so this is what I mean about, like, if you come out here, it's pretty pretty obvious how the game structure is. <laughs> and if you run along the world, you'll see that it just keeps generating along this one axis. This is how this shit works. Use macro? I, I tried. It, it wouldn't accept it. Wee. By the way, you can get on top of some of these buildings, like in this room, for example. You could very easily just, uh... get up here and then just run around. It's really not that hard to do. Use macro to spawn. Yeah, I tried, thick. Yeah, so let's explore a little bit. Skyline actually, uh... They did build a lot of the city, like, for, for like, supposedly a whole bunch of areas you can't really visit. Hello. Hmm. Is, 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 am I not gonna trigger the death floor by coming down here? Hey guys, I think there's a mistake in the map. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, look at that. Each of these little segments actually just keeps going on and on into the void. There is no street level, but there is plenty of this shit. And some of them just keep going on. And on. And on. Guys, this is freaking me out more than the actual game. How's, how's if I turn off uh, no clip? Turn it back on, turn it back on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Fuck. Hmm. So who went live? Oh, Vinny. Oh, he's playing a Hylix. Oh, <laughs> still got no clip on. Woohoo! You have seen this. It's actual creeping decay. Yeah, I love how I can actually hear this thing like reload. 
something wrong with the media and the people around you. Okay, you're getting a good look at the drones here. You can you see their motor. Different. By the way, you can actually shoot the motor and uh, you are ready. Receiver. Like like stopping it from like. You have been a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system. Like aiming at you. Hold on, I'm gonna shoot the barrel. Shoot Inside. the barrel. There we By go. Continually. Yeah. Listening so to no, these no clips. You will drown. So, so, so this can happen. The negative influences. From Good your job, asshole. Environment. You will have taken the first step towards awakening your media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use it as part of this technique. You must listen to them to it. This. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't make much sense. Like, well, this is one I of the rare tapes that sounds like a threat echo, but it's not. It still feels familiar. It's more like a fictional place than the real world. It's, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the and all the objects uh, long ago. So of course, in that tape, he's talking about how weird the layout is, you know. You're gonna fill up those bullets! This is how good the destruction mechanics are. You can, like, knock the legs off and everything. It's great. Alright, so, this, so that's, uh... I guess we could take, take a look at this beauty. Oh, yeah. Oops. Smith and Wesson. Let's take a look inside. You can see the spring that controls the firing. And you can see the mechanism that can cause it to become a double action. There's the cylinder. Yeah. Huh. Well, I like I, I like the holster strap. Like the hook for it. Like I didn't realize like the, these guns had that. I wish there was more control. Like you, you like you could. You wanna go? You wanna go, bitch? Huh? I've got your number! Oh, I got your number! Alright. So that was Receiver 2. Excellent game. I, I love it. Like, you could call it pretentious, but I just call it fun. You know, it's... Games are more than... You know... Little things like that. But I really like it. Now then, it's now then for my favorite game of Sam spawns a bunch of drones and tries not to die. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh no! Wait, I heard a tape. Give me that tape. Pick it up. U.S. It's Marine Colonel oh, there we go. Jeff Cooper's first rule of gun safety. Jeff Cooper. Guns are always. Loaded. Oh! Even if you've just unloaded oh! it seconds ago, oh! or seen someone oh! else do it, treat it as if oh! it's still loaded. Oh, no. <laughs> you may know that it's empty, <laughs> but you must <laughs> practice your mind tech threading and believe. Oh shit! Oh, it did get me! Oh, it it got me! All right. To expect defeat is nine tenths of defeat itself. I got that one right. Trust me, the only reason why I didn't die more is because I have, I don't, I don't know, 45 hours on record? Played this game a few times, guys. <laughs> Do I still have fucking debug shit on? Hold on, I got... Okay, highlight, turn, turn off, turn off, disable debug mode. There we go. Alright, it's off. And my shift key stuck on. Stop. So yeah, that, uh, that's receiver 2. It's a lot of fun. Now, excuse me as I uh, do this outro by shooting myself and dying. That was receiver two. Okay. Oh, well, it's been fun. I I hope the stream soon, more soon. Uh, I'm gonna have to fit it into my schedule considering my job is starting. So that's a lot of fun. 
What time is it? Eleven. Yeah, it's about almost time for bed. Yeah. All right, so it's it's been fun. Um, yeah, receiver two is great. Um, it's even though I beat the game, um, I still want to play some more of it. Uh, especially if in the future they they mention they might add some extra guns, just in updates, which they have done with the first game. But um. Yeah, and if it ever gets mod support, I'm going to try that out and just show off some of the uh, the really weird mods. So yeah, uh, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to head out and uh, stuff. I don't know. I hope it's been too long since I last streamed. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, have a good one. Take care and all that shit. Вот у нас два мальчика катаются, не один. Да, Киселётик?